Hi, everyone. Hello. Welcome to uh, a podcast, podcast will save, save this relationship. relationship. I'm Josh Him. I'm Sarah Sheher. And on today's episode, we talked about the last three episodes of The Last of Us. The last of three episodes of The Episodes Us. Yeah, exactly. You got it. Yeah, yeah I did it. And, and then, then we... Uh, we read a very special alternate ending to the wolf story. Yeah, and it was well written. It was Shout very out. well written. Shout out to Bree underscore five. Four one, I think, is what it was. Let me check it so I make sure. She's, uh, she sent it to us via the Discord on Patreon. Yes. Yep. Bree, B R I E underscore 541. Yeah. That's so, Twitter. Yeah. Thank That's you. That's Twitter handle. Yeah. Thank you. And, and then uh, we read some of My Immortal. Yeah. And, and uh, yikes. Yeah. And then we did some Reddit and listener stories as per usual. Yes, we did. And, and it's a pretty solid episode. A pretty solid episode. Nice. We got you through know, it. We got through it. Yeah. Uh, fair warning: there is a camera error that happens, but oh. that's only affected to YouTube. So it's all my fault. Audio listeners, you're chill. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the gosh darn bell, hit that dang bell, and enjoy the show. Enjoy the show. Yeah, hey, I'm, so, hey. I'm so excited for this Goo Goo Dolls concert tonight. <laughs> Yeah, he said in 2023. I feel so old. I feel old this week. Do you know how white I felt telling my friend, "Oh, sorry, we can't hang out because we're going to a Goo Goo Dolls concert." <laughs> oh, yeah. next week. Oh, sorry, can't hang out that day. We're going to a Three Doors Down concert. <laughs> uh, we paid for this little blue pass to a theme park. Uh, if you heard of it, it's crazy. Yeah, it really is cracker shit. It is. Yeah, for sure. You're and going... my friend, God bless him, goes, oh, cool. Oh, yeah, pretending to give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> pretending to know who those bands are. I'm <laughs> sure. I'm sure he does, but I'm just I mean, like. Yeah, but like, I mean, yeah, they're like how like Google like Dolls no oh, one's man. talked about in 20 years. Sorry, I can't hang out with you. I have to go to a Nickelback concert. Yeah, exactly. Ooh. Yeah, that's kind of how it is, right? <laughs> yeah, it's like, damn. So, yeah, no, I totally get that. Yeah, it is, it's really funny to think that, like, my parents were considering, like, getting with just passes just, just to for go to Goo Goo Dolls. The... But, you know, it feels like I'm partaking in my culture. You know what I mean? That's what it feels like this a little is, bit. This is what uh, us this white This is white folk, culture. This is white culture. Is Goo Goo Dolls <laughs> and Three Doors Down. <laughs> That's it, yeah. It feels like I'm going to church. You know what going, I mean? It is, it is a day before Sunday, yeah. Yeah. This is our almost... <laughs> and Goo Goo Dolls kind of has a weird religious yeah stin really? well yeah i mean I, they have that one song i don't know i don't know that's what but like so these were the bands right that were so popular that now like if you listen to christian rock now yeah that's what they are yeah it's basically goo goo dolls yes. for christian rock right now yeah and like it's weird because like goo goo dolls like fucking like i think iris was like for like a movie called City of Angels with like Nick Cage in it. Oh wow, really? Yeah, but I think huh. that has, it's like a weird kind of has religious stint to it because I think it's about like literally angels oh, in okay. Los Angeles because Blake Snyder wrote. <laughs> oh really? No, but it sounds like he would. Oh, uh, fucking um. But yeah, no, fucking uh. It's a uh, yeah, and then they they have the one song about abortion, but like weird. But like they're like kind of pro like. Abortion? I don't know. It's a weird pro band. Pro abortion? I don't know. It, which is good, right? It is good. That's pro, but choice. they talk about like priests being on the phone. What? Yeah, and the song it, it, it's "Slide" is what that song is. Slide is that? Yeah, it's about abortion. I think. What? I thought it was just like come over to my house so I can have sex with you. It's about abortion, dude. What? Yeah, right. That's Black crazy. Balloon's about uh, I think heroin addiction. Oh my god! Yeah. Whoa. Iris is probably about something too. Damn. And I know, yeah, they're a weird fucking huh. band. They're okay. weird as fuck. They're still making music. Good for them. God bless. No one cares because they 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 yeah. only want to hear Iris. Yeah, wanna... I, that's the only thing I want to hear tonight. <laughs> yeah, Iris. that's gonna be their encore, for, like for sure. I'm gonna get drunk on expensive cocktails. Yeah, and then we're gonna be in the crowd, and everyone's gonna be shouting, and I, I don't, don't want the world <laughs> to see <laughs> me. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah just a. a a cracker concert, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. That's the one time I've peaked this fucking thing. Nice. How, somehow you didn't peak the mic during because that. Because I leaned back. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Clever. Yeah. Clever. You know, mic technique? I know, I know, fucking... how to, I know how to use the mic, yeah. <laughs> Don't get fucking cocky, kid. <laughs> the amount of times that your audio dips out because you decide to like, whoa. 
you know, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. fuck. I'll okay. Fucking, I'll say okay. it. I'll say it, all right? <laughs> I'm fucking saying it on here. Josh is fucking and saying it. I don't fix it in post. Hey, Josh, you know what you should be saying? What should I be saying? Your opinions about The Last of Us. <laughs> Thank you, thank you for saving me from going on a rant that would that would uh, cancel our plans for marriage. I think. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, but okay. okay. Yeah, Last of Us, fucking um, yeah, we did watch the Last of Us. It's been okay. So we've okay, we've we been got, out for a week. We, we have three episodes three we gotta episodes. talk about uh, because third episode. Okay, how third do you episode. feel about gay people? Go. <laughs> I feel like I'm on the spot here. Okay, uh, I love the third episode. Yeah, that's the best TV it's, episode I've yeah, seen all year. Yeah, it's literally like... Which is early in the year, but it's going to be hard to it's, beat that. It's going to be, yeah. It, if, if all TV's like this this year, yeah. it's going to be a good year for television. Severance is coming out? Severance is coming back. Fucking, honestly, yeah, after COVID, like, not having, like... Because, like, when did Severance come out? Did Severance come out last year, technically? Mm-hmm. Wow, real man, I'm fucking old. I know, but yeah, fucking uh, yeah. So like, yeah, Severance. Is good. Yeah, I feel like this is a new golden age of TV, mm-hmm. which is so ironic because I have to spend a hundred fucking dollars every month. <laughs> yeah. You know, between every different like Severance is gonna be on Apple, and that Ted Lasso is also on Apple. But then Last of Us is on HBO, and then the, they're gonna get finish, Paramount Plus. Gonna, yeah, Paramount Plus because apparently South Park had one good special. Peacock is this. gonna have a community movie, and then yeah. um, uh, Stranger Things will finally fucking end. <laughs> Some and fucking I can day. rest. I and can, I can sleep rest and not have to care about the eighties anymore. <laughs> that'll be yeah, nice. That'll be amazing. But uh, yeah, no. So like, I, I it is a golden age, and I think this the third episode of The Last of Us is kind of like a crown it's beautiful. jewel. Yeah, yeah. It is. Really? It's like a jewel. Yeah. You know, and like, yeah. I uh, this isn't the first time that like an episode has kind of deviated from the main story to no. talk about a plot. Uh, this is um episode two with the kiss. You know. Uh, what do you mean? Like the episode at the end where what's her face died, in, yeah. in, a, in a different way. It deviated. Oh yeah. Oh no. I'm sorry. I'm talking about like a show, like literally, like staying away from the main plot of the show itself. I'm talking about so like in Mythic Just Quest, in general, when they do the oh, whole. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's I what I'm talking what about. I'm not. I don't care about the differences in the video game and oh, show. Okay. Okay. I mean, those are the differences they've made so far have all been better because yeah. it works for a show. Yeah. And it adds more depth to it, and I like that, and I think that comes out in the fourth and fifth episodes. But okay, so like I'm talking yeah. about like in, in Mythic Quest, I think it's like season one, episode seven, and then also in season two they do it, and they probably have done it for season three. I haven't caught up, caught up on uh, Mythic Quest yet. Yeah, we Quest haven't yet. seen third season yet. Um, but like they just decide to tell a little short film that is inside the show. It's part of the universe, and it yeah. has some sort of uh, ranking or some sort of like meaning behind it. You know yeah. what I mean? So like having that with uh, Nick Offerman and the other guy, yeah, uh, Bill and Frank is like. It's it was beautiful. It's a fucking like gorgeous, yeah. Like well written, well shot, well. We we were executed. watching it, and um, my experience was I heard Josh crying, and I was like, you know, I was like, oh shit, yeah. Josh is crying, and then I was like choking, and I was like, I'm crying. Oh, oops. I'm trying to I'm trying to remember when I started crying because think, it yeah. wasn't right at the end it was like no. maybe in the middle yeah it might have been strawberries i think was maybe the first real i think so yeah strawberries was like it was starting to cry because i um knew somewhat where it was going because of the game mm-hmm. but i knew it was gonna e- i knew it was gonna end in death someone was gonna have to die yeah but like uh fucking the way they do it is like so Amazing. much better than the fucking game. Yeah. So yeah, I think I started crying during the strawberries, and then uh, Bill gets shot. Spoilers yeah. for a that. For... I think is when I started crying. Yeah, because that was crazy. And it was just a Bill being like he's prepared this because he cares so much about Frank. Yeah, and then and that's when I started crying, and then you know, the fucking if you're already crying by that point, and the next shot is Frank in a wheelchair. Oh yeah, you're, you're already dead. like you're dead. You're, you're fucking gone. crying. Yeah, you're gonna lose all the liquid in your body. Yeah, and like fucking oh my god. Yeah, that that whole like we've seen it twice now. We saw it once by ourselves, and then we saw it with our parents. My parents. Yeah, and they were crying by the end of it too. With and your I, dad too, who never cried at anything other than fifty first dates. Yeah, or rarely cries. Who the fuck? Eight hundred number. Someone's not prepared. No, I'm joking. <laughs> okay. No, you gotta answer it. You gotta answer it now. You gotta. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Media I'm thing. not gonna have somebody be like, "You owe six hundred dollars." 
this is a collection. Okay, you yeah, know? I, I'm I not get you. Put that out on the internet. That is fair, yeah. But okay, so fucking. Even um, I just did. Ooh, ooh, crazy. But no, yeah. So like, yeah, like uh, the man. It's so. What what's left to say other than it made me cry a lot? I don't know. It's don't just know. beautiful. It's just beautiful, and like I don't know. I feel like um, man. I think the response to it is really funny. People being like, it didn't do anything for the plot. It was just two gay guys sucking each other off oh, and no yeah. zombies. You know, it is. It, and then the episode immediately after had no zombies in it. Nobody gave a fucking shit. Literally, yeah. yeah. No one fucking got upset. And there were zombies. There were like two zombies. There were and, two zombies in that episode and it did move the plot along because it gave them a bunch of crap. Yeah, in a car. Yeah. yeah. And like, I don't know. I feel like, um, yeah, I think this is like, uh, I love. I'm not going to say that the response is more fascinating than the episode. It isn't. But I think it's more interesting to talk about. It's two separate things, you know? Yeah. It's the difference between art and the context around art, you know? Yes. Yeah. Because if you watch it, you're watching a piece of art. Yes. Yeah. And it's fascinating to go to the museum and see the painting and look at the strokes. Yeah. And to look at the composition and the colors and everything. And then it's fascinating to read the little blurb that says this was built out of fascism or something. Yeah, right. You know? And that's the dichotomy. It's They interact with each other, but also they're different, you yeah. know? And I think, yeah, because, like, I was really, I was, like, worried about going into work the next day. Right. Because I know some, because uh, I, I don't think, like, I don't think my coworkers are, like like, homophobic. I don't think they are. Yeah, I, but I do think that it's it's. I don't think they you hear maybe a lot are of, like. I don't know how to describe living in Florida, guys, but it is weird. It is fucking it's a strange. Mishmash of like political ideologies and like you never know when you're gonna hear a fascist talking. Piece that is true. Yeah, out of somebody's mouth that you respect and like yeah and like um. I think my I, I do think my coworkers are like cool. Yeah. I think that they, for the most part, like have like r genuinely good opinions. Like they're anti-Trump, you know. Yeah. But like I don't know how often they interact with like queer media, you know. Yeah. Or or like you know like because I mean it's 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 gay. It's a it's a literally a gay short film, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, it's two with yeah. two men that you know. Yeah. And then they show they don't show gay sex no like my mom was worried about for some reason your mom so we started watching this and it was obvious that they were gay right yes and then your mom goes is there gay sex in this <laughs> because apparently she's she been seeing gay sex all gay week sex, yeah and i was like what yeah <laughs> so understand. like you know and like i it, 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 that's another like fat weird thing fascinating to me yeah. of like a response i'm like i didn't expect these <laughs> words to be spoken to me today yeah like wow you know and like i don't know i heard one of my uh someone i don't really talk to because i think they're i went to work early one day and i happened to work with like the people that work earlier than me yeah and like i just heard one of them like tell another guy yeah have you checked the third episode yet it's gay but it's awesome which I'm like, I guess that's, that's exactly good. Exactly like how it is. It's, yeah, it's it's not the wokest you could be. No, yeah, but it is and like sometimes there are Nazis on the highway, like in full Nazi gear. Yes, they'll drive to school and there will be Nazis there. And sometimes you're talking to somebody for like a couple months. Yeah, and then all of a sudden they're like, "Yeah, I hate trans people," and you're like, "Damn, what?" Yeah, right. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. So, but then I'm yeah. so like hearing like say someone say it's gay, but it's awesome. It's kind of like a well, that's the that's best you're gonna get. Better, yeah, from it's that the best. Guy. Yeah, you know. Yeah. And I think that points people more in a more empathetic and like progressive direction. You know what I mean? Yeah. One time I had a um I had a friend who um is a gay man, and he wore a skirt and put it on his Snapchat, and one of his friends, who I swear to God has been his friend for like years yeah commented like you're gonna trap somebody yikes that's pretty bad that's like you know like like you're gonna get hurt because you're trapping men and just because uh... this guy was like he wasn't like um being a femboy or any sort of label he was just experimenting with fashion and yeah. gender expression and uh i mean it's just you never know. <laughs> you just yeah, you never, never know. know what's gonna come There's out of somebody's waiting in mouth the shadows. Here. Yeah, everybody. You know? It's. I feel like being in Florida makes you go so insane. Mm. Yes, 
that if you don't have self awareness, if you're not like That's why I stay inside all the time. Yeah, no, literally we That's do why not I have a vitamin D deficiency. We went driving to a fucking gas station and a guy sideswept us from the other side of the road. <laughs> I don't even know how he yeah, got there. I don't even, yeah, I did, I did not see him. I did not like fucking. Like he was going to drive onto the sidewalk to. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fucking. He was going to hit the sidewalk. And I, it was just like, oh. That, that's happening. Huh. It's He's just it's swerving crazy. through traffic. Yeah, it was crazy. That was today. Oh, my God. That wasn't, that even, was the, today. That wasn't even us going outside earlier this week. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. No, it, it's. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't like going outside. But <laughs> fucking, this is just so much context for, for being our, scared being, after. To, to go out and talk to people, yeah. Yeah, I guess, yeah, because, like, I feel like this is... Okay, because, like, I guess with The Last of Us, to me, it's very... It's from 2013. It's, like, from fucking, like, the Gamergate era. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So people that played the game may or may not have got swept up in the Gamergate bullshit, and then fucking... And have those opinions, yeah. Yeah, and have those opinions. So then coming out in, like, 2023, 10 years removed yeah. from the original source material, mm -hmm. and they've already, you know, they've already started slightly changing things here or there. Mm -hmm. uh, to me, that's, I guess, the worrying thing is, like, yeah. where their opinions lie, and the show, uh, taking something from the game, which was they implied that they were, uh, you know, they were gay in the game, yeah. but then, like, making it such a focal point and such, like, a, a focus of it, yeah. and guaranteeing and, like, solidifying it. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. Now that you've seen the other episodes that are out. Yeah. Genuinely. Yes. Do you feel like it was kind of woke bullshit? <sighs> because. No. Okay. I think it was I, wonderful the way it was. You I know. don't think it was woke bullshit because I, I just like good writing. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. I think I, it was done really well. Yeah. I just like the choice to be like, we're going to really give these people. Yeah, we're really going to go. I think it's a wonderful choice. I'm just also like knowing but how could different it is from the game. I'm like, this is an interesting choice. I think, I think, I think bad faith people are going to try and call it out for being woke bullshit. Right. And I mean, woke bullshit is actually like, uh, not really, I, I don't, I don't, cause I don't really give a shit if like you know they inject like uh like so i don't know like so, i guess i'm saying this because we watched the director's cut and later episodes they make sam deaf yeah and, and I, it was weird hearing a, the director be like what if we like make him deaf yeah to me that's i it was kind of weird it, it was feels a, a little, little weird it does feel weird but then i'm also kind of like they they start okay. That okay. That's kind of like Florida, right? Yeah. It that starts off with a weird thought like that. It yeah. starts off with a, a, a weird guy. If I yeah. find out that Craig Madsen or whatever the fuck's from Florida, I'm gonna be like, that makes yeah, a lot yeah, of sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he also <laughs> this fucking weirdo. Yeah. Saying I I watched that 200 times and I still cry. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm like, that fuck was like you. this guy keeps saying fucking weird shit. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, I mean, okay, I love that the kid was deaf. That was no, really yeah, interesting. I think it worked. Yeah, and, and it that's worked. why I, that's why I don't think it's woke bullshit. I think when they <laughs> They do okay. So when they deviate from the game in that way, uh, or deviate to focus on a smaller story, yeah. Because like and I they say also woke bullshit like with quotes. I don't actually mean that it's bullshit. Or no, whatever, yeah, no, I get you. you. Know. I, I, that's why. Yeah, I, I mean to Ben Shapiro, it's fucking woke bullshit, right? But I'm like, is there any credence to just being like? It seems like this guy is walking around like, what if we made him deaf? You know what I mean? Like that. He does seem like that. He I'm not does wrong. Seem like he's just but saying like, that. Like I do. I. At least, like, appreciate mm -hmm. when they. D it would be woke bullshit if it was, like, written by Joss Whedon. <laughs> you know? If it yeah. was written, like, uh, The Avengers. For sure. But no, you got the, the original creator of the game and the guy that made fucking Chernobyl, which apparently is probably pretty good. I'm willing yeah, to bet if you, you know. Yeah. But, like. I guess the difference is it's good. Yeah. I don't know. I think I'm not smart enough to understand this. I yeah, guess. I, I guess, like, I don't know. To me, like, yeah, I don't really get the vibe of, like, they're trying to be woke. Yeah. I think, because it doesn't, it feels natural, I guess. It feels like a natural, like, progression okay. or change. Right. I feel that, too, as a person who, like, understands media analysis. But if I was a 
fucking dumb idiot. Oh yeah, if I was a fucking stupid person, I'd be, I would like, be like, "What's with all this gay people? This deaf kid? What's going What's on? What's going on?" That's what I would be like. And I see, you know, if you take yourself out of you know all the context, yeah, I see how the blocks fit together. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, okay, I get that. I, get I don't what you think mean. there's any credence to that idea. I think it's really stupid, and I think it's a fucking lie being told to an audience that is eating it up because of hatred and ignorance, right? Yes. I believe that, but I see why they think that in this in this scenario, because they don't have the, the contextual analysis to yeah. see that it's good. You know okay, what I, mean? I can understand that then. Yeah, because I understand why they made Sam deaf and that he relies on his brother more. Yeah, than, you know, it makes yeah, it's you know, yeah, I understand that. I understand the concept of it. Which yeah, and like I don't know. To me, that's even more interesting because like I feel like uh, deafness in media it is not really brought up or talked about. Like, there's not really like yeah, or at least in the mainstream, I guess. I think like what there was that one movie that was about um, deafness and I can't remember what the name of it was it Coda oh I don't know there was like an Apple Plus movie and I think it got like a few like awards or award nominations and it was uh. about it was about a, a deaf person or, or like uh, a, it was about uh, deafness I believe yeah I, I'm I could be wrong I've not watched the movie I don't know <laughs> but I, I but like to me it feels like I'm thinking in recent history only has like deafness actually kind of like had a a part in popular mainstream media. Yeah, I feel that. I so, think I yeah. agree too. I think with the history, I've I've taken like a deaf history class. That's the length of my knowledge. You know what I mean? Yeah. And um, a, the, the history of it is interesting, and I think it's complicated. And um, you know, it's it's great to have representation. Yeah. I'm just like I wonder. I guess the Sam representation doesn't feel as genuine as the gay representation. Mm. Okay, then. All right. You know what I mean? It feels like a tool being used to drive. That's fair. Emotions. I think that is fair. I think that is a fair. That could be. I you could see it that way, and yeah. I can definitely. And I will say that definitely is just because of the creator saying yeah. that. For sure. And that's like, I, I was, you know, I was watching, I was totally fine with it. I was like, oh, this is cool. And also you could definitely tell that the kid actor is also deaf. Yeah. So like, you know, you know. it's not like someone who has the ability to hear pretending, pretending like to be deaf. That no. would be fucked up. And that would be actually really fucked up. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, they did it really well. But like then hearing the director be like, what if we just like, like walking around the city downtown and be like, hey, let me call up this director and be like, what if we made this character deaf? It feels like Sia, you know, being like, let's make a movie about an autistic kid. You know what I mean? Well, okay, yeah. I, but then they use the correct representation of well, it. Well, they use the correct... I guess, like, okay, my thing is, like, I think woke bullshit is when you try to include uh, a marginalized group, mm -hmm. but you don't do any research. Okay, yeah. I think that may be it. I think maybe, like... You want you want cool points. You so, want the brownie points. And then that's interesting too, because like then you can dive deeper into the people that say that this is woke bullshit. Yeah. They don't care about the actual representation of these marginalized communities. They care about looking at deaf people and Ye not having to look at them. That's yeah, and then that's fuck them. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. There you go, yeah. So I mean, huh. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I fucking Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, so it's really two separate critiques, you know what I mean? I get that. It's one person who says, I don't want to have to look at a woke, uh, at, at, a, at a black deaf kid, and the other is, I don't know if him being deaf is the best usage of story analysis, you know, of, like, yeah. story. I feel like you're using a... a <laughs> you're using a culture to... Advance a plot. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I, okay. And have an emotional impact, which feels not cool. But also, I'm not deaf, so... Yeah, I, I have no I don't know. In, in this. I would want to know what deaf people think. I am, I'm a cis white guy, uh, in case uh, I haven't I said know, that yeah. enough on this show, <laughs> but... Yeah, I don't know enough. So, I don't know, yeah. If could you be let me, totally fine. Could, could be, be totally fucking different. awesome. Yeah. Who knows? I have no idea. I don't fucking know. But I guess that was something I thought about. I don't know. Yeah, I get you. 
Um, uh, but I liked it. I think was the main point. <laughs> I liked all three episodes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, okay, okay, okay. Third episode is fantastic. Third episode is fantastic. Yeah. Fourth episode was interesting. I'm gonna lump fourth and five together because they feel such a like continuous. They feel actually like the most like I guess like there's a story. There's like or a at tune least in a, next week. a tune like a tune in next week. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I guess the fourth episode was kind of like not a lot happened. Yeah, they just had the the fighting and going through the city. Yeah. Uh, which I guess it was more about Ellie killing people. It was more about Ellie killing people and more about uh like the factions and like resistances kind of taking over yeah. fascism, but still being somewhat fascist. And I guess Joel and Ellie their relationship and they're bonding more yeah. yeah and then in this episode it's about escaping and then like um i, I think it's interesting because like the second game kind of talks about this a lot more but mm-hmm. like uh and I, they talked about it again in the like behind the scenes stuff which i i've been enjoying a lot more than i have in other shows because yeah. there's uh because there's a source material and because there's uh the reasoning why or why they don't change things mm-hmm. but the uh the second game talks a lot about like revenge and like, mm. and they're talking a lot more about revenge and fate in this game mm-hmm. or in this in this show in the first season, mm-hmm. which I kind of like respect because then it makes more of a cohesive like, uh, uh, when they're eventually gonna make the second game into a twenty mini series, yeah, uh, it's going to like be. I think it's gonna come over much more effectively, yeah, than the second game was able to show. Well, and also, uh, kind of a another, the fifth episode, right? Yeah. Joel does a lot. Like, he is now doing a lot. I think because he's probably one of the main character you play in the game. Yeah. At this point in the game. Yeah. And, um, is what it seems like. And now I'm like, if I'm sitting there watching him doing all this stuff, putting his life at risk. I'm going to be like, why? He didn't like her mm. four episodes ago. So the third episode actually is very needed to develop like his sort of like, I fucked up with Tess. I fucked up with my daughter. I'm going to protect yeah, this girl. It is needed. Yeah. It's incredibly needed. And I guess that's a point that I want to make because I'm like, yeah. Yeah. That I I completely think like I'm like oh I look at Joel and he's fucking shooting zombies while Ellie's running around yeah and it's but like, I'm like hell yeah hell fucking yeah and I wouldn't have I would be like why is he doing this it, mm. all of a sudden it's like he did a 180 yeah you do need yeah you do need you that need more that. of like a yeah so yeah. okay I understand that you know what I mean yeah you do need the build up of their relationship so I understand that yeah yeah okay. Yeah, third or fourth episode. The fourth episode, you mean? No, I mean the third episode. Oh, okay, yeah. Because all that happened, you know? Yeah. And then it led to the letter of Bill being like, now you have to protect Tess. Yes, okay, yeah, you're right. And yeah. Tess has already passed. Yeah. And, you know, they said that in the background as well. And I also thought it was interesting in the fifth episode, I'm jumping around, who cares? Um, <laughs> in the background, the the director's, you know, background they were talking about how uh, Henry is um, spending all his energy to protect his brother, Sam. Yeah. And how that's, they kind of say it's like kind of bad. <laughs> like he's, he's spending too much energy holding mm. on to someone. Like how far will you go to protect someone that you love? And yeah. um, Kathleen at the end of it has this like big, long Oh speech yeah, speech about like, like horrible speech about like. Should, well, maybe you should have died. Your, yeah. your, son, your uh, little brother should have died of leukemia, huh? Yeah, and it's yeah because then it, it talks about uh, uh, what is it? My brother is more important than your brother. It's weird, which is a weird thing to, for the creator to say. Is like the, but then yeah, that is like the fucking. That is kind yeah. That's kind of like what the whole game is about. Spoiler alert! is gonna be about. Oh. Yeah, uh, I don't want to spoil too much. Um, ah, uh, man, I can't say anything to you because you haven't played the second game and you don't know how this one ends. Yeah. Shit. So, hmm? I can't say it. Fuck me. Damn. God damn it. Especially if there's people who haven't played the game that are in our audience. I don't want to spoil yeah, it for yeah. them. But yeah, so like, I mean, it it is fascinating that they're... I just like watching all the dominoes set up, I guess. 
right with all these ideas and yeah. all of these and i can't wait for them to get to a head because we have like what like four more episodes i think i think there's nine episodes in total mm. or it's seven and we're gonna finish the shit up quickly but i'm hoping that there's like four more episodes because i think there's a lot more they gotta go through damn yeah okay i mean i, I, I it's interesting hearing that being acknowledged when my initial point of view about apocalypse shit is that it's all worthless mm. like all this struggle is worthless and this is different because there's hope yeah and this is like immediately like kind of contradicted in this episode where sam gets bit spoiler alert yeah and um ellie tries to save him and it doesn't work and then sam gets shot and then henry shoots himself and it's like all that struggle, all that like fascist, you know, fighting, all this is for nothing. Yeah. Hmm. Can't spoil anything. I can't spoil anything. <laughs> you know. So yeah, how how do you feel about Apocalypse now, Sarah? How do you? Well, it's weird. It's I've I've never seen a show just like acknowledge this feeling of like, what are we doing? Yeah. You know. What's the point? What is the point? Yeah, I get that. Which I I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. Okay. Because it right. sucks. This is the thing that I hate, but they have to put it in every zombie movie. They have a zombie show, movie, whatever, where it's like, we're struggling so hard to survive. For what reason? Yeah. And it's like, yeah. Yes. For what reason? Just because? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I get that. Yeah. Just because. Hmm. All right. Okay. I understand that. Because to me, yeah, I guess like so far, every single time that there's been a lot of a lot of deaths come in twos. You know what I mean? Yeah. They uh the fucking I guess because the whole thing is about like a, a father it, it, son yeah. or, uh, fa or father daughter relationship and then yeah. father pseudo son but brother relationship yeah. and then and this also builds up Joel again in being like I don't want to do that I don't want that to happen to us. Yeah. So yeah. then trying to protect Ellie and then like fucking. And then even with like Bill and Frank, the romantic, you know, two lovers. Yeah. And I, and even to an extent, the um, uh, Kathleen and the other guy, like the oh, military yeah. guy, yeah, try, him trying to protect her, yeah, dying, and then her having nothing. And like, so, if Tess died, does that mean that Joel's gonna die? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so far, Tess, I guess, is like the only single. Yeah. Yeah, I guess like well, because it has to be two people. There were three people when it was Tess, Joel, and yeah. Uh, but Ellie. she had to die. So someone had to die, and then now there's two, and they can live. They can. But I mean, it kind of is pretty obvious that Joel's gonna die at this point. At some point, yeah. It, because Ellie in this episode, in the fifth episode, is like, I don't want to be alone. So that's gonna happen. Yeah, she's gonna be alone. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. Chekhov's alone loneliness is what we call <laughs> that. Chekhov's loneliness <laughs> is gonna be the name of my band, yeah. dude. Chekhov's loneliness. <laughs> But yeah, no. So I don't know. I I I I like the show. It's pretty. I like it's the great. praise. It's I great. Liked, I like the the themes that they're going with, and I like they're setting up a lot of themes yeah. now and adding a lot more flavor and texture. Yeah. Also, uh, I want to be clear. Meal. I don't think it's woke bullshit. I was trying to do like a devil's advocate thing. Okay. Jesus. Sarah said, and I and I oh, quote, uh, uh, "The Last of Us is woke bullshit." So please. <laughs> Please go with that as you will. Please cancel me. Please cancel, yeah. Josh, we have a treat. Oh yeah, we have a treat. We okay, have a treat. you have a treat. I gotta feed it into my mouth like I'm a like I'm a good boy. Or no, that's gross. Why would I do that? So okay, There's someone on our Patreon. Uh, the real can I can I set this up a little bit? Yeah. Uh, for those of you who don't know. We've um, been doing a wolf story, and it ended, and now there's a void in our holes, in our in our hearts, in our little holes. There's a void in our holes. Oh, there's, there's a, a void, void in our holes, everybody, for this wolf story. I wish this there's wolf story void, was in our holes. There's a void in this podcast where we have to fill forty more minutes of time because <laughs> this podcast is scheduled out for three hours. Yeah, it's twenty minutes of Josh bullshit, and then forty and minutes. You of... You fucking know I'm not gonna pick a topic. Yeah. <laughs> You know that yeah. it'll work. So okay, so for those of you who don't know, we do have a Patreon, and if you're a patron, you become a Discord member. Yes, we have a Discord yes. for only Patreon members. Patreon only. And um, let me get their name. Hold on. But if you want to see a bunch of cat and uh, dog pictures, uh, that's yeah, that's, it's mostly just that. It's that that's all that it is and right now. And some memes. And some memes. Um, so this is at Bree underscore five four one. That's B R I E underscore five four one wrote an alternate ending to the wolf story and it's fucking awesome yeah 
and Josh has not heard this. I haven't heard it. I've this has been teased to me though. I got permission from Bree to read this. Yeah, on the podcast. On the podcast. Yeah. So we have an alternative ending. Yeah. To the twelve-hour wolf story that yeah. we did. Yes. And then I have I, to re-edit and add this on to the end. Oh fuck! <laughs> yeah, just so we can get fucking demonetized again. Yeah. yeah no. Exactly. Awesome. No, yeah. Great. Fine. But yeah, an alternate ending. Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready for this. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm okay. ready. <sighs> when Kathleen handed the bracelet to me, my heart leapt. It was a glittering diamond bracelet. Loose gems dangling from a silver chain that reminded me of drops of starlight. It matched perfectly with the dainty necklace and earrings that had been picked out for me by my pack maidens. Okay, all right. It's Thank- written better. I <laughs> know, it's like know, awesomely... Props. Like, I told Brio, I was like, bro, you should keep writing, dude. <laughs> I think, you know what, points actually deducted for not including 20 spelling errors, exactly. actually. I'm very upset that there was not a commitment to the author's original intent. <laughs> she said I tried to put cringe in here for you, so... Let's go, yeah. I, I lo- couldn't I lo- find it, honestly. I'm like, I don't even think this is cringe. I, listen, you, yeah, you, yeah. If, you're, if your goal is to make more cringe of this wolf story, you have a hard fucking hill. It's difficult this to is do! Your, this is Sisyphus's boulder right yeah, here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much. I smiled at her with pinprick tears in my eyes. She grinned back warmly at me. This couldn't have worked out any better, Kara. Thank you. Her words reverberated in my ears. My wolf let out a, ro- a low growl of contentment. Hey, this is a wolf story. I know! There's <laughs> actually wolves in it! I'm so happy! <laughs> this was it. This was the day. After years of turmoil, I was finally ready to look ahead to all the things a true alpha does for her pack, with my mate picked out by the goddess herself alongside me. Excited wouldn't even begin to describe the swirling anxiousness in my gut. I turned away from the mirror and towards Kathleen, who was rummaging in her bag. I was so happy she could be a part of this day with me, with us, the pack that she had found a home with. She turned to me and flashed a smirk, still digging in her LV tote. I guess Louis Vuitton. You look just divine, but you need one last thing. Ah! I blinked at what she procured. In her hands was a crystal ball with a tube coming out of the top with another smaller ball attached. Perfume, Kathleen uh, Kathleen exclaimed. The good stuff. Nothing better for alluring your husband on your wedding night. With a wink, she aimed the bottle at my collarbone. <laughs> wow. Even from standing near the fragrance, I could catch notes of its contents. Fresh pine, tobacco, honey, and something I couldn't quite put my finger on. For all the scents I could catch in the air, this one seemed... new. Ooh. For a single moment, underneath the gleaming silver bracelet, I swore I saw my wrist glow gold and then sputter out. Oh, shit. Hey, Kath, uh, what's in this? She sprisked me once, twice, a third time, right in my face. I went stumbling backwards, eyes burning. A sharp sting singed my nostrils as the perfume misted all around me. Gritting ear to ear, Kathleen stepped forwards, stepped towards me as I gra- uh, fuck me, okay, this is my fault, this is- well written, okay? Grinning ear to ear, Kathleen stepped towards me as I gasped in a cloud of the sticky oils. That, my dear, is a little something we call wolf's bane. Good for perfume. She watched me collapse to the ground, clawing at my throat and nose for air. Goddess, give me air. Better for draining the power from little pups who go disrupting <laughs> plans bigger than them. <laughs> oh my god, a twist! <laughs> a twist! <laughs> The bracelet on my wrist began to get warmer oh, and warmer. I know this, oh, I get where this is going because you mentioned fucking Rosemary's baby. Yeah, I oh did. Oh my god. Oh, you fucks. I writhed oh, on the fucks. floor in absolute agony. Somewhere outside where the sun shone and birds sang, where everyone was waiting for me, a guttural roar ripped through the sky. Rider. Snatching my wrist, Kathleen yanked me into a sitting position. The bracelet now seared against my skin, white hot but I couldn't find the strength to scream, could scarcely find the strength to force my lungs to breathe. Now, she muttered into my ear, we're going on a little trip, (laughs) Kara. Call it a permanent honeymoon, if you will. Kathleen reached under her dress and from her thigh grabbed what could, what looked like the sharpest letter opener I had ever seen. Its pommel was faceted with a dark, menacing ruby. With it, she nicked my forearm until a tiny stream of blood began to trickle down. Taking her pointer finger, she wiped the blood away, then began to etch small symbols on the ground with it. As she smeared and my vision darkened, I managed to gasp, Why? 
Kath flicked her eyes at me. Travis deserved this. More than you. More than anyone. I'd do whatever it takes to see him take his rightful place in this pack. Oh my god. And all packs. All packs. All packs. She must have noticed my confused stare. Oh, Kara, you stupid little mutt. There's going to be a new alpha for us all. We just needed a drop of your power to do it. And she gestured at me. Now we get all of it. Digging her finger in my cut one more time, perhaps just for fun. She continued, you were supposed to be the one, Kara, chosen by the goddess and everything. A mocking tone took over. When your parents died, we all knew it was time to enact the plan for Travis to marry you so we could have the influence and the power. It was supposed to be easy, you know. (laughs) Kath let out a bark of a laugh. (laughs) (laughs) But it's more fun this way. Finishing the sigils on the floor, Kathleen began to mumble an incantation I only recognized from my boring childhood days in the library. Forbidden magic. The priestess had... Forbidden magic, the priestess had called it. I knew there were powers in this world that I didn't understand, forces that worked against our power, but I didn't know that blood magic was part of it. A twisted smile grimaced at me. Time to go home, she whispered. A crack of electricity tore at the room, threatening the very fabric of reality as its power collided with the earth. I tried to scream, fighting the thick glaze that held my brain and vision, weighing down my arms with lead. Papers and books flew all around with the power of the vortex that began to surround us, heaving and clawing at us to take us away. Just as reality began to ripple, I heard a crash down the hallway and footsteps thundering towards the door. They were here. They were going to save me. Kara! A voice bellowed. The double doors to the fuck room flew open and I had just enough time to lock eyes with the man I was to marry. Those eyes filled with panic and unbridled fury. He looked so handsome in his suit, I thought. Ryder reached out his hand and a flash of white light. We were gone. Wow. That was not fucking that, amazing. That's better. That's better. That is a lot better. Holy shit. That is fucking... That is better. It's like you eat McDonald's every day, and then you like... Then you go to Olive Garden for one day. No, you go like, to like a fucking five-star restaurant, dude. Yeah, that is better. Yeah, that is a fantastic. lot better. Yeah. I love it. See, I love the wolf stuff, man. That's what I want. Stuff. I want wolf, wolf stuff. wolf stuff. So yeah, that is, that is better. That is a lot better of an ending. Yeah. And it's also... It, it also... Producer brain here. Uh, sequel? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That being okay, but okay, so that is a better ending. That being said, if I had gone through thirty chapters just I for it to go end like that, thirty chapters, I'd be like, I can we can we not just start here? <laughs> could we just have started here? Well, I think if Bree wrote the wolf story from it, beginning to end, it, it would have made more. It would have made, more, it sense, made yeah. more sense. Yeah, yeah, that is true. I would have liked a little bit more uh, cohesion from the. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, that is a lot better. It's That's fantastic. Just better, better written, yeah. Anyway, do you want to... We wanna... have fucking creative fans. Thank I know, you guys. that was fucking you guys amazing. Awesome. I was like... Oh, shit. Uh, uh, fucking, um, before yeah. I forget, there, I haven't tweeted this out yet, but we had uh-huh. a... A fan made a a fan made bumper sticker. Oh, yeah, about clasp the off, chair the around chains. your neck. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I'll, I'll yeah. link that down below. It's and also, fucking awesome. Yeah. But you don't get any money from it. I don't give a well, shit. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. I don't give yeah, a shit. It's give fucking a shit. awesome. It's a looking. good bumper sticker. Yeah, go or a sticker give that you put on your thing. Money. Give that person money. Like literally, do it. Ugh. But yeah, no. So yeah, that's fucking. Um, yeah. that was awesome. Thank you, fans. Thank, Thank you, Bree. so much. And join our Patreon so you can also send us more wolf stories. Uh, yeah, send us more. We'll keep reading them, I guess. I, I'm. Anyway, wait, actually, yeah, no, no, because we gotta stop. We gotta stop wolf stories somehow. Wait, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be <laughs> wait. No, wait. Second thought. Uh, cur- I'm not. We're gonna I'm not keep cursed. reading fan fiction. I, yeah, People we can love keep. It. We can keep reading fan fiction, but we gotta switch it up, man. I can't fucking. Are you? Do you want to switch it up? Yeah, I'll switch it up right okay, now. Okay, let's switch it up. Switch it up right now. Okay. Yeah. I got another one pulled up. Uh, what's it called? Is it? A, is it a kind of obscure? So I mean, not exactly. <laughs> Not exact. It's pretty famous, actually, when people think of fan fiction. Oh yeah, what's it called? Apparently, it's a fucking book, also. Yeah. So okay. All right, I'm ready. My immortal. <laughs> uh, Chapters one and two. Oh, we're doing one and two. Okay, sweet. It's very short. Okay, all right. You've sweet. never heard my immortal. You don't know what it is. I I think I might have some clue. Some. Because internet historian yeah. did a audiobook read with some editing to it, with some ed- like visual edits did to it. Did you watch the whole thing? No, and I don't remember it. Okay. I just remember he did it, and I remember... 
I can't. Okay, yeah, I don't remember enough about it. I think I'm going to be surprised. Okay. A little bit. Okay. But do you remember this? Do yes. you know? Okay, all right. So yes, I do know. It all right. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Cause yeah. I, it's been a while since I've like even seen anything related to my immortal. So I'm reading it off of fanfiction.net. So I just want to let y'all know. This is right, chapters this is one and two. Okay. Chapter one. Author's note. Special fangs. F A N N G Z. Go fucking kill myself. Parentheses. Get it? Cause I'm gothic. To my GF, ew, not in that way, Raven, Bloody Tears 666 for helping me with the story and spelling. You rock. This is my hell. This is my hell now. I've realized this. This podcast is hell. This is these, these 30 <laughs> minutes where I, I am subjected to the worst writing. It's not your fault, Sarah. No. It's not your fault. It is, it is Blood, <laughs> Blood Raven 666. So it's Bloody Wrists something okay but I, I don't know because it was I taken down and now okay. it's, it's re-uploaded by x x midnight essence XX. okay all right justin you're the love of my depressing life you rock too mcr rocks minecraft oh my chronicle romance minecraft minecraft yeah okay mine and then crf yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hi, my name is ebony darkness dementia ravenway and i have long ebony dementia dementia's in there <laughs> dementia dude why the fuck is dementia in there is that goth I no i guess yeah you know you know what's you know what's really gothic mm -hmm. forgetting everyone you know and love and yeah. everything you do I mean, it's pretty sad that's not sad yeah that's pretty depressing okay. yeah that's goth as fuck dude hi my name is ebony darkness dementia ravenway and i have long ebony black hair that's how i got my name with purple streaks and red tips that reaches my mid back and icy blue eyes like limpid tears, and a lot of people tell me I look like Amy Lee. Author's note: If you don't know who she is, get the hell out of here. <laughs> I'm not related to Gerard it. Way, but I wish I was because he's a major fucking hottie. <laughs> I'm a vampire, but my teeth are straight and white. I have pale white skin. I'm also a witch, and I go to a magic school called Hogwarts in England, where I'm in the seventh year. Parentheses: I'm 17. I'm a goth, in case you couldn't tell, and I wear mostly black. I love Hot Topic, and I buy all my clothes from there. For example, today I was wearing a black corset with a matching lace around it, and a black leather miniskirt, pink fishnets, and black combat boots. I was wearing black lipstick, white foundation, black eyeliner, and red eyeshadow. We need to carpet bomb every Hot Topic that's ever existed. Every mall on this planet. I think I you're need a little to, late for that. I don't. They're this still. Up, out, I, like, they're still up there. 20, this was re-uploaded 2016, but it was published in 2011, so we're pretty late. <laughs> Two years before The Last of Us. Yeah, that's actually, yeah, wow. you know, That's a good way to contextualize this. Yeah. Neil Druckmann was like, I gotta make something better than this. <laughs> I gotta. I was walking outside Hogwarts. It was snowing and raining, so there was no sun, which I was very happy about. A lot of preps stared at me. I put up my middle finger at them. <laughs> hey, Ebony, shouted a voice. I looked up. It was Draco Malfoy. What's up, Draco? I asked. Nothing, he said shyly. <laughs> but then I heard my friends call me and I had to go away. <laughs> Author's note. Is it good? Please tell me, Fangs. Chapter two. I I really got to stress enough. Like, I really like... <laughs> Is that why people? Is this why people are buying the new Hogwarts game? Is so they can be this character? Yeah, <laughs> they can. You guys are fucking dweebs, dude. Holy <laughs> shit! Like, put the transphobic shit aside. This is this is what shit. you guys look like if you <laughs> buy this game. Like straight up. How are you not? Like, how are you not though? Like, because that's literally. Yeah. yeah, this is literally this is how I kind of view anyone that's like Yeah, I want to hang out with Draco core. Malfoy so much that I I'm I'm totally cool being a turf. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, so funny. That's so you uh, guys are fucking weirdos if you're like holy sh oh my god. There's a lot going on here though. There's a lot. There's a lot happening. There's a uh All you know in the, in the beginning, yeah. What this is okay. in 2011 chapter 2. This is like oh six. Like I feel I know, like this is right? like this is like five years like yeah. late, even for when it was written. Oh god. Chapter two. Author's note. Fangs to Bloody Tears six 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 for helping me with the chapter. By the way, prep stop flaming my story, okay? 
The next day, I woke up in my bedroom. It was snowing and raining again. I opened the door of my coffin and drank some blood from a bottle I had. The coffin was black ebony, and inside it was hot pink velvet with black lace on the ends. I got out of my coffin and took my giant MCR t-shirt, which I used for pajamas. Instead, I put on a black leather dress, a pentagram necklace, combat boots, and black fishnets on. Put on four pairs of earrings in my pierced ears and put my... Is this why the wolf story had so much shit about, like... That's that's fan fiction. That's fan fiction just about like just des- describing every piece of clothing you wear. Yeah, that's like part of it. That's part of the fantasy for people. Like like the Those and seeing the visually. It's like describing. Have you okay? So when I was a kid and I did like uh, Warrior Cats role play, right? Yeah. You what you had to do when you first created a character was you had to find an image, name, age eye color, hair color, okay. pelt color, whatever it was. See, okay, and I, I want to say, story. I want to say for the record, like, yeah. I know, I know that's like a very basic thing I just said out loud, but like, I think like you can, you can describe things without just like, no, this yeah. bluntness. In novels. Yeah, and like, I don't know, I feel like there is yeah. a, res- there's a, even like a, there's a, a way to do it in such a blunt way, I feel like. There's a way to do this thing where you're just kind of list it without listing them off like it's a fucking checklist. Yeah, exactly. I think that's the real problem is, you know. But that, you're going to find it in most. Okay, all right. Especially bad fan fiction. Okay. And I think that's what I think was initially endearing about the wolf story was reading that, not knowing that. And people being like, yep. That's how that's it is. That's how yeah. it is. So now I like, yeah. And yeah. I, 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 yeah. Man, I'm just, I'm learning so much knowledge about something so shitty. I don't know why the that fuck. you would not know, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, gra- I'm glad that like 0.1% of my brain is now dedicated to just this knowledge. Indeed. Of this subculture, of this. We do it for the money, man. Uh, bro, <laughs> yeah, we didn't get fucking any money from that fucking 12 hour thing. Shut the fuck up. What yeah, are you we talking do it because we love it. I put on four <sighs> pairs of earrings and my pierced ears and put my hair in a kind of messy bun. My friend Willow, author's note, Raven, this is you, woke up, <laughs> then grinned at me. She flipped her long waist length Raven black hair with pink streaks and opened her forest green eyes. She put on her Marilyn Manson t shirt with a black mini fishnets and pointy high heeled boots. We put on our makeup, black lipstick, white foundation, and black eyeliner. Oh my fucking God, I saw you talking to Draco Malfoy yesterday. She said, exciting. <laughs> That's a fucking nerd. <laughs> yeah. So I said, blushing, do you like Draco? And she asked me as we went out of the Slytherin common room and into the great hall. No, I so fucking don't. I shouted. Yeah, right. She exclaimed. Just then Draco walked up to me. Hi, he said. Hi, I replied flirtily. Guess what? He said, what? I asked, well, Good Charlotte are having a concert in Hogsmeade, he told me. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh no my. No one's thought about Good Charlotte in fucking 10 years, dude. What the fuck? I think the most recent thing was that thing in Vegas that they, they were going to do. Who fucking cared? No, yeah, and no one showed yeah, up, no right? Because did. it's Good fucking Charlotte. <laughs> I haven't. Dude. Dude, you have to like listen. Like, I I'm one to talk. We're going to a fucking Goo Goo Dolls concert tonight. Today, yeah. Today, yeah. yeah. But like, good Charlotte. <laughs> Got good in the title, so it means yeah, it's yeah, yeah, good. for sure. Yeah. It, like, okay, wait, hold on. Like, straight up. Yeah. I don't even know what songs they did. I don't know either. I want to. I'm curious I'm now. I'm probably not gonna know actually. Oh my god! Wait, no. Uh, now I feel. Now I feel. Att- okay, listen, guys. I like Third Eye Blind too. I know they're fucking. They're probably on the know same the, level. The Blink 182s. Yeah. Right. I guess. Uh, yeah. I guess Good Charlotte is like kind of in that vein of like. I'm assuming they're like. Not goth rock, but like. I don't think any of the shit so far has been goth. Okay, yeah, it hasn't been. Yeah, I don't think My Chemical Rona romance is goth either. Okay, but what is that then? What is it, like Midwestern emo? Yeah. Okay, so like it's good. Emo. Charlotte, good. I don't even know what the fuck. I can't remember them. I haven't heard the name Good Charlotte in fucking years. I thought I don't know. Sorry, I'm, I gotta, not, I'm gonna. I'm sorry, gonna guys. I gotta get. I gotta get myself. good music off my phone real quick so I can figure out what who the fuck Good Charlotte is. Can I finish the chapter first? <sighs> yes. Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay. Guess what? He asked. What? I asked. Well, good Charlotte are having a concert in Hogsmeade, he told me. Oh my fucking God. I screamed. I love GC. 
They were my favorite band. <laughs> <a> short Africa <laughs> shot. <laughs> I'm literally two sentences away. I love GC. <laughs> They're my favorite band besides MCR. Well, do you want to go with me? He asked. I gasped. That's the end of the chapter. We need a shorthand for good fucking Charlotte. Who works? It's not even like, it's my chemical romance I understand having. Bare naked fucking ladies I understand have a fucking need a shorthand. How yeah. far are we going with this? Because we're not no. coming back to this. this we, we're, we're not we coming back. We have to now. I, wait, hold on. What the? We're not reading the, this whole thing. I'm not doing this. What's the anthem? That's their number one song on title. The anthem? I, I, don't, I don't remember. Hold on. This is copyright, so I can't play it. Wow, they sound like shit. They sound like Green Day, but like worse. Awful, yeah. They sound like fucking um You could have said Green Day and that would be still more somewhat culturally relevant. But Green Day still isn't goth. Yeah, so what's just fuck rock is? music? Yeah, it's dude. just rock. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you can do let's do one more. <laughs> one more? Okay. We can't be here all night. We have a cuckoo dog. <laughs> Get to it. Okay. Yeah. Why oh. are we judging her? Are, yeah. Okay. But like, come on. Chapter three. Author's note. All caps. Stop flaming the story, preps. Okay. Otherwise, fangs to the gothic people for the good reviews. Fangs, Asian Raven. Oh yeah. By the way, I don't own this or the lyrics for Good Charlotte. Charlotte. Uh, Charlotte. I'm gonna be D H R A. All right, guys. -T -T. Here's a hot take for you guys. If you've ever read Harry Potter, you're not gothic. I'm sorry, you're not. No, you're just not. You're a fucking nerd, is what you are. I get to say, I read Harry Potter. I'm a fucking nerd. I get it. <laughs> I've also turned my back on it. That's the difference. <laughs> I grew the up. Thing you've ever said. Yeah. Turn my back. I turn my it. fucking. I I rejected you. <laughs> not a big mistake. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. On the night of the concert, I put my black lace-up boots with high heels. Underneath them were ripped red fishnets. Then I put on a black leather mini dress with all this corset stuff on the back and front. Put on matching fishnets on my arms. I straightened my hair and made it look all spiky. I felt a little depressed then, so I... S <laughs> well, trigger warning, I guess. Slit one of my wrists. Are you fucking kidding me? No. Oh. That's so <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ. Uh, oops, I read a depressing book while I waited for it to stop bleeding and I listened to some GC. I painted my nails black and put on tons of black eyeliner. Then I put on some black lipstick. I didn't put on foundation because I was pale anyway. I drank some human blood so I was ready to go to the concert. I went outside. Draco was waiting there in front of his flying car. He was wearing a Simple Plan t-shirt. They would play at the show too. Simple Plan. What the fuck is Simple Plan? You don't know Simple Plan? I don't. Bro, Simple Plan is like an 80s band. They're so, that's a weird fucking... You, you know Simple Plan. Do I know Simple Plan? I know Simple Minds. Because they, they are also somehow more culturally oh, I relevant. Hate this, I hate this band. Oh. They're not an 80s band. They're 90s. Oh. I'm, I was thinking of Simple Minds, but I hate that song anyway. So Oh, the song that uh, Derek Comedy made fun of? Yeah, because it sucks it ass. sucks ass, yeah. Dude, I remember playing Guitar Hero 5, and one of their songs was on it, and I was like... I guess I have It was game. like eight minutes fucking long, and it was the most boring ass thing. <sighs> it was like the one of the beginning songs, and like I would try to... I tried to be an idiot and like play every song on easy and get it all like, you know, 100%. Yeah. And I could never get that shit past like 90, because I would get so bored... You'd fall asleep at the guitar. I would not focus yeah. and miss notes. That's how bad that song sucked ass. God, that's so, yeah, fucking ruined my guitar Christ. hero. Uh, shit. Okay, okay but yeah, uh, let's continue. Yeah. Okay, he was wearing a simple plan T-shirt. They would play at the show too. Baggy black skater pants, black nail polish, and a little eyeliner. <laughs> Author's note: A lot faux cool boys wear it. Okay. Okay, hi Draco. Yeah, I see why we can't do a series on this. I see why I can't do this forever. Yeah, I can, you can yeah. all go read it. Okay, yeah, I'm I'll, not doing this. If you if at 20 <laughs> subs on my Twitch channel, I'll force myself to read it. Yeah, yeah. There you go. You can read it. Yeah, yeah, I'll read it. Yeah. And I think you also reading like, like how it's spelled. Can I, can I give it a try? Actually, yeah. Go ahead. Where was where were you? I mean, that's the top. Okay, yeah. I went outside. Draco was waiting there in front of his flying car. Uh, he was wearing a simple plain T-shirt. Oh, okay. Hi, Draco, I said in a depressing voice. Hi, Ebony, he said back. 
We walked into his flying black Mercedes Benz. The license plate said 666 and flew to the place to the concert. On the way, we listened <laughs> excitedly to Good Charlotte and Marilyn Manson. We both smoked cigarettes and drugs. <laughs> and drugs! <laughs> when we got there, we ho- both hopped out of the car. We went to the mosh pit at the front of the stage and jumped up and down as we listened to Good Charlotte. <laughs> Is this actually... <sighs> Quote, you come in cold, you're covered in blood, they're all so happy you arrived. The dov- doctor cuts your cord, hands you to your mom... She sets you free into this life, saying, Joel, I don't own the so- the lyrics to that song. Quote, Joel is so fucking hot, I said to Draco, pointing to him as he sung, filling the club with his amazing voice. Suddenly, Draco looks sad. <laughs> I'm going to fucking lose it. <laughs> What's wrong? I asked as we moshed the music. Then I caught on. Hey, it's okay. I don't like him better than you, I said. Really? Asked Draco sensitively as he put his arm around me, all protective. Really, I said. Besides, I don't even know how no Joel, and he's going out with Hillary fucking Duff. I fucking hate that little bitch, I say disgustedly. She's awesome. Thinking of her ugly blonde face. <laughs> Jesus Damn. fucking. I the like night her. went on really well, and I had a great time. So did Draco. After the concert, we drank some beer and asked Benji and Joel for their autographs and photos with them. We got GC concert tees. <laughs> stupid. GC, man. GC. That's funny. Draco and I crawled back into the Mercedes Benz, but Draco didn't go back into Hogwarts. Instead, he drove his car into the Forbidden Forest. And they fuck in the next one. I guess, yeah. So they have sex in the Forbidden Forest. I guess so. And then um, Hagrid comes in, and he's all like, whoa! Oh, no, it's Dumbledore. Oh, it's Dumbledore, Dumbledore, yeah. And Dumbledore says, very Dumbledore-like, what the hell are you doing, you motherfuckers? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, guys... <laughs> Listen, I don't like Harry Potter, but if you're gonna do it, do it what fucking right. What are you doing, motherfucker? What the hell are you doing, motherfucker? <laughs> I can't just do this. And holy shit. What the well, hell yeah, you know are what? you doing, yeah, motherfucker? You know, I'll tell you what, if, if they did um, Hogwarts Legacy like it was uh, written by this person, I would buy the fuck out of it. Yo. Yeah, if it was, if it, all the money was going to this person, I would yes, be. Yeah, I would buy as it. As long as they're not transphobic. Yeah. <laughs> fucking, uh, I've listened oh to multiple people fucking. read this entire thing. <laughs> and that still gets me. Dumbledore what saying, what the hell are you doing, you motherfuckers? You motherfuckers? <laughs> it's so funny. It's the funniest thing in the world. Tony Collette fucking says Dumbledore. Uh, <laughs> what the hell, hell are, are you doing, doing motherfuckers? you motherfuckers? And you know what? It's funnier because, like, in the in the in the fourth movie, when he finds out that Harry is drank from the goblet or whatever, oh yeah, and he like fucking he, he, like, slaps him at him, and like you know, it is completely different from the book where he's very nice. Yeah, but yeah, like literally, it's so funny so... to think that Dumbledore is being like abusive. Do you think? Do you think like he, there was a take where they were like, "Hey, wait, hold on, whoa, whoa, whoa wouldn't whoa, it whoa. be really funny if I quoted this fan fiction?" <laughs> what are you so doing, the motherfuckers? The actor that plays Dumbledore is like yeah. fucking just choking out Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> like, what are you doing? How are you doing, you motherfucker? Like just going yeah, crazy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Uh, so pirate that movie oh. and then just and make that clip. <laughs> You're good. Yeah. Ah uh, man, yeah, uh, that's what you all sound like when you play that game. By the way, that's a fact. Those are yeah, those are straight fact. facts. Yeah, <laughs> fucking nerds. Imagine, also, like gothic uh, guys. Imagine, if you if you cut yourself, you're not gothic. You're depressed. Fucking get help, it, guys. You need to yeah. Go to, Jesus, that's Christ. not a that's a stupid thing to. No, let's fetishize it. <laughs> <laughs> when we go see GC. <laughs> Imagine being another wizard at. Hogwarts and being like a good Charlotte fan or like having friends that are like dude good Charlotte's playing we should go see him and you're like I don't, I don't why does know. good Charlotte get to know where the fucking <laughs> wizard shit I know right what the fuck is that but then you're like okay I don't know I don't want to I mean I guess I'll go there's nothing else to do it's like the first week you know so there's not yeah. much homework I guess I'll go and you go in the fucking Draco Malfoy with some fucking bitch next to you <laughs> He's just like getting sad and she's like, no, I love Joel. I don't love you as much as I love Joel. And you're just there like, okay. Yeah, ruining the vibe of the mosh pit, actually. Yeah. All right. It's fucking weird. You guys are weird. <laughs> like, I totally would like this couple exists. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it totally does exist. And it's really fucking at your favorite concert. Uh, 
that just feeling of like being next to somebody where they're like hugging and kissing and like yeah. being all fucking ah, uh, being a freak, being <laughs> a freak next to you, and you're just yeah. like, I, I just want to, I just want to like watch the music. The music. <laughs> I want to see what chord progressions they do. I want to look at the way they play the guitar. I want to see the drummer. I look at the drummer. Yeah, no, I get that. Yeah. Wow, that is bad. Man, yeah. that's fucking bad, man. Yeah, so that's, you I know. I, I that's remember. That's why the Wolf story is like a little good. Yeah, I mean, yeah, okay, yeah. A little bit. What would I rather see, a dead body or a pile of shit? Yeah, I guess a pile of shit, but like... Jesus. What would I rather <laughs> see? A bloater or a clicker? I guess a clicker, but like I mean why? Bloater's just a big one. Yeah, and they'll rip your fucking head off. That was awesome, dude. <laughs> a clicker, uh, I can be silent. I can throw something and distract it. <laughs> Clever. I'm a gamer. Sam's gonna die anyway. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Anyway, you wanna do Reddit? Oh, uh, we gotta go do ads. I thought Reddit comes before it. No, we do. We've d literally done this every I, every week. I don't think so. For the past so, like two okay. weeks, it's been we do ads and then we do the Reddit shit. Okay, but then before yeah. that, we did Reddit and ads. Yeah, and then we switched it around because this is now closer to the actual middle of the show because okay, of how fine. long things go. Fine, do the fucking right. ads then, Yeah, I'll bitch. do the goddamn. Okay, good. All right, I'll okay, do fine. advertisements. All right, great. I'm making money. <laughs> Welcome to the ad break. Hello. Hey, are you enjoying this podcast so far? I know I am. Any better? Like, comment, subscribe, hit the gosh darn bell if you're watching on YouTube. And rate us five stars on Apple and Spotify podcasts. Fucking get it, bitch. And if you want to help support the podcast financially, there's a couple ways to do it. What are those ways, Josh? If you go over to patreon.com forward slash APWSTR, mm -hmm. uh, you can get exclusive content, early releases when we're able to make them out in early, and access to our private Patreon Discord. What? Yeah. Whoa. Hell yeah. That's crazy. You mean like you could talk to us in Discord? Like I could speak to you, the listener? Yeah, and you can share photos and memes of and cat photos. It's awesome. Yeah. That's like the only thing Discord's currently being used for right now is it's, memes. Everybody's and, just showing photos of their cats. It's pretty fun. Yeah, and doggos. Yeah. Because we're, we're pro dog and pro cat. We are. And both. other pets. I'm not. Iguanas. Show, show us your iguanas. Yeah, I actually love iguanas. Yeah. I like them. <laughs> But yeah, so yeah, if you do that, and also if you give us five or more dollars, you get mentioned right at the end in the text and as well in the description of the podcast. Yep. Uh, if you want, if you're on YouTube, you can become a channel member. It's only about two or three bucks a month, something it's like that. It's $2.99, yeah. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. And uh, during our live streams, you get access to emotes as well as a way to get on the end of the podcast uh, yeah. mentioned in the description as well. You don't get all the content from Patreon, but you do, get, do get those get, things. Yeah, so if you want a cheaper way yeah. to get mentioned right at the end of the podcast, that's probably the best way for yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. As well as the emotes during the live streams. Yeah. Yeah. Which we do two of them per month. Usually we usually do uh, mm -hmm. what is it? One every other week. And we're, we're playing we're Stardew Valley right now. Right now. Yeah. yeah. Next Wednesday, I think this Wednesday, this will, coming Wednesday, this coming Wednesday will be live yeah. 7 p.m. Eastern on our YouTube channel. So make yes. sure you're subscribed and Indeed. notified for that. Uh, if you go over to buymecoffee.com forward slash APWSTR for three bucks a coffee, uh, you can just tip us. You don't get any of the exclusive content, but we'll say whatever you have to say during the segment. And do we have one? I believe we do. I believe we, since we've been gone for two weeks, I think we have one or two. Okay. Hex, two X's, she, they, Hello. buy you three coffees. Thank you. Been listening a, for a while now. Heart emoji. You guys literally make my day. Aw, oh, thank, thank you. you. We appreciate it. We appreciate it. We appreciate the opportunity to make your day. Also, you have a dope name. Yeah, good name. Hex is dope. Hex. Hex. And Woody bought us two copies. What's up, Woody? Sup, little buddies. I just wrote in a story for y'all and wanted to throw some extra love. Huge fan of the show. I've blown through all the podcasts while grinding levels in my games, and now I'm moving to your Stardew streams. You two have given me hope for this world, and I'm thrilled to see what story Sarah picks next after our precious wolf story has ended. Oh, hell yeah. Anywho, love you and toodles, sweet cheeks, heart uh, emoticon. I like being called little buddies. Little buddies. That's nice. Little buddies. That might be our new fucking fan names instead of just babies. I like that, yeah. Little buddies. Everybody's a little buddy. Everyone's a little buddy here. That's cute up, as little fuck. Buddies? I love that. Yeah. Up, my little I buddy? think those are all our coffees. Hopefully I didn't miss any. If I do, I'll make sure I get them to next week. Yeah. At us, yeah, DM add us. us, yeah, DM us, Let us make know. a big fit about it, honestly. Yeah, because you paid, yeah, so you did you pay, yeah, it. so you do deserve it, yeah. Um, but what yeah. else? Patreon, buy me a coffee. There's other stuff, we got, uh, merch. we got merch, it should be in our description as well as our YouTube shelf, yeah. And there's also the merch that we did not make and we don't get any money for, but yeah, the bumper sticker the with bumper the sticker. clasp the chair around the neck, yes, yeah, which I will recommend. Amazing. Well, I, any, well, I mean, if you send it out, if you buy it, you're just spreading our fucking yeah. Our message, yeah. I mean, it's a good, I mean, it it's looks a good fucking, awesome, yeah. So so, exactly. Yeah. You're spending the good you're se you're sending the good word of APWSTR <laughs> on your car. Exactly. Yeah. But uh, what else is there? Fucking um mm. oh, uh, there is a Skillshare affiliate link. We don't know if we it works. We don't know if it is. I don't know. Try it. Fuck it. I don't go shit. 
Why not? If you want it. They don't it. pay me directly. So, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I think that's all the ways to support us financially. I think so. Yeah. YouTube Premium. I don't. <laughs> so when we get demonetized, like we have been. You send us money anyway. Yeah, you're te- you're you're giving us ten cents per view as opposed to like no Nothing. sense. Yeah. yeah. So, so no. yeah, but yeah. Anyway, yeah. Uh, keep enjoying the show. Back to the show. Bye. I think we're called a Reddit podcast, so I think we should have a Reddit segment next. Really? Yeah. <sighs> if you call Crazy. us a Reddit podcast, I get the right to punch you in the face. <laughs> so I chose a bunch of Reddit stories. Because we're still low on listener stories, right? Yeah, and uh, I we did have a, a bunch of uh, re- uh, listener stories, and I want to I want to apologize. I don't want to say anyone was like an asshole. That's not the reason why we didn't uh, do them. But most Some of the time, them, it's either like it's too much for us to handle, like, and we don't want to put it on the audience to handle. That either means it's either too complicated of a situation, or it's too long, or something. Yeah, or it's not written super well, and we and can't yeah. read it, or something. Yeah, but yeah, none of you guys are assholes. I don't think there's anyone that I would call an asshole from the ones I read. I read for pretty much all of them. Yeah, and uh, I think yeah, all of you guys are not assholes. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know, but okay. yeah, fucking. Because <laughs> I deleted a lot. Like there was a lot. Like I think we were at twenty, and I brought it down to like ten. Oh shit. Yeah. Damn. Nah, I brought it down to five, actually. There yeah. were a lot. But yeah, so I just wanted to say that because I know that uh, you guys have been sending in more stories and we do appreciate it. Yeah, we appreciate it. Yeah. And it, it's a good way to vent. But okay, so you have red stories. I have one red story and then four listener stories. Oh, five listener stories. No, four. four. I got four. Yeah. You good? Yeah, I'm good. I'm okay. trying to remember because I, I, I did all this last week and I'm trying to remember in my own head now. Oh, uh, I feel that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm good. Am I the asshole for not stopping my child's bus driver from honking at pickup at drop off? What? I live in a small two story apartment complex, two buildings with about 20 units each. Each building shares one parking lot. My four year old son has special needs and is at a special needs preschool that sends a bus to pick him up and drop him off every weekday at 7 15 a.m. and 3 15 p.m. Okay. How it works is basically the driver pulls up to the side of the parking lot closest to my unit. I'm on first floor. The driver honks the horn a few times and I run outside with my son out of our sliding back door and get him on the bus. In the afternoon, same deal. I wait till I hear the honk and I run outside and get him off the bus. Once or twice, the driver has had to honk a second time because we weren't ready at exactly 715. Also want to note we live in the Midwest and it's freezing cold most mornings, so it's not an option to wait outside. Okay. We've gotten two notes on our front door complaining about the honking. And then today a neighbor said, that's been your fault this whole time. I've been wondering who's behind the honking as he was walking by me this morning. I don't see anything wrong with my system, with this system. My son is autistic and needs the special bus and we're not breaking any noise violations. I don't see what is unreasonable, reasonable about this system we have set up, but we've had multiple complaints. My wife thinks we should ask the driver to stop honking and I have no intention of doing this. Our son is disabled, and we are perfectly within our rights to get him to school as we see fit. A few honks twice a day isn't going to hurt anyone. (laughs) She is embarrassed about the complaints and thinks we should do something differently, however. So I want to hear other points of view. So am I the asshole? What? Why? But he's special. Yeah, I feel like you're not. Why? You got asshole neighbors, I feel like. I feel like, I don't know. Is it? I kind of think he's the asshole. Really? Okay. I kind of do. He knows that his son goes to school every day at 7.15. That is true. Yeah, I guess there is kind of like uh, just kind of... And even then, he's sometimes not ready, and the guy honking the horn he is honking to... the horn at 7.15 a.m. Okay. Imagine you're living your fucking life, and 7.15 a.m. every day, a guy is honking his fucking horn outside your window. That is true. Okay, that is kind of shitty. I will say that is pretty fucked up. Yeah, okay, so... I think in general, it seems just like a shitty situation. Yeah, and I guess that's why I'm like... But it's just as like... It, it, get him ready by 7.15, you know? Holy that's shit. That's true, yeah. I guess, yeah, I might think... I, how, I wonder how hard it is to help get the sun ready... I mean, he's autistic. He's not like... That's true. Yeah. So like... Yeah. Okay. Okay. I can understand that then. I can understand why he's a little bit of an asshole. Because yeah, if you just got... If you you set your schedule to such a way where you wake up earlier... I mean, listen. I'm not a parent. Yeah. I'm definitely not a parent of an autistic child. So I don't know how difficult it is to get them ready. Mm -hmm. 
I, I don't know. But if it happens like a lot. Mm. And also at the point of like every day. Yeah, I feel like also that's pretty cool. That's pretty wild. <laughs> that is pretty wild. I guess. Yeah, it's, it's definitely I can understand why the neighbors are complaining then. OK, I can understand that because yeah. I feel like, yeah, if I were wake woken up every day at seven, I would I would cry. I'd cry every day. Yeah, that's true. Okay. You know? I understand that. And I will say, I feel like the, maybe, okay, like, if there was a system, I feel like at three o'clock. That's fine. That's better. I don't give a that's shit. That's fine. You shouldn't be, yeah, unless you're like, I mean, I guess you work late or, you know, If you work late or, or like work from home, yeah. yeah. But then that's a communication thing. But, like, this guy is digging his heels in before, like, people are trying to communicate with him and tell him that the honking is terrible. Yeah. And he's just like digging his heels in, dude. And like, yeah, staying there. Yeah, there isn't. I will say it's kind of weird that he's not like trying to compromise with neighbors. No. Okay. So I can. Okay. I. Hmm. Would I go so far to say like complete asshole? Maybe mm. not. But Maybe I like do a think light asshole. Light asshole. Yeah. I, I don't think it's like, oh, you can never come back from this. No. Yeah. I don't think this is. Honestly, this is a very low stakes like situation. I will yeah. say I feel like the neighbors like maybe aren't responding in the best way either. I feel like if they're leaving like kind of passive aggressive notes, but then I could also understand. Well, how do you say that? Yeah. I mean, I think that's the only way to really do that. Yeah. I don't so, know. Okay. I don't know. Interesting. Yeah. I that's know. an interesting one. I thought it was. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So like what? Why is it not possible to... I know it gets cold in the Midwest. Stand outside. Yeah, I mean, and I will say we're both from the South. Yeah, so I definitely... That is my first thing where it's like, I stood out. Right. In, Me I, too. I waited in 100 degree weather. Yeah. With 20 layers of clothing on. I, think. I was in Atlanta and it, it didn't get that cold. It got to like maybe 60. Yes. <laughs> yeah, honestly. But I mean like, okay, yeah, I, I wouldn't want a kid stand outside in 32 degrees. Yeah, I get that. that. Even with layers, yeah, I feel yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's not... So, I understand that. But I'm like, so, okay, why wait, can't how, it be waiting the, inside? So, what is the system then? Like, Right, that's what I'm saying. It's not really a system. It's just he shows you up, a honk. You're, he's not outside, and the and guy honks. honks. Yeah. So, that, to me, that's kind of like... That's not a system that you're inconveniencing this driver. Yeah, like, even if you're waiting inside, like, if you're just stare out the window... <laughs> Yeah, like just Actually, yeah, be you just stare out and then you see a bus start coming. Or go out at 7.13. Yeah, and then you're only waiting outside for like two minutes. Yeah. That's not bad, yeah. And you're also technically early, so if the bus is early. Yeah. But then, but what if the bus is late? <laughs> and well, then, then I'm then outside like, for three minutes. Well, then it's like, okay, one honk <laughs> also, a month. You, a month. That's a lot. He only has to honk one time because yeah. he's late. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. That, but every day. Every day is kind of sucks. wild. Yeah. Okay. Sucks. So yeah, I think there's a there is a compromise here, and yeah. I guess yeah, the unwillingness to compromise is kind of what makes him. It's kind of the asshole. But also, like, if you're if you're that parent and you're in this like uh, in this situation, I can understand maybe trying to. I can walk. get it if it's I hard. I can understand yeah. if it's difficult. Yeah. I understand that. So I can understand that. Yeah, but I don't. Th I think there's redemption. There's a way out of this. Yeah, just where don't your neighbors don't hate be you. A dick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just don't be a dick. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. I think we solved it. Solved it. Also, a lot of other people think he's the asshole for sure. Uh, yeah, I can understand that. I can understand that more. Yeah. yeah. Fucking wild. But yeah, you know, special needs son. I, I can understand. I do yeah. want to give him more slack, though. I think a lot of people are like, well, that's your son. You got to take care of him. Yeah, and those people can go fuck themselves. Yeah, it's like... That's okay. why I was, I was trying to give as much benefit of the doubt, I guess. No, I understand. So... Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I have a I have kind of a wild one. Oh. And this, I feel like, is going to relate to a lot of uh, us food service people. Oh. All right. And this, this is why I picked this one. It's because, like, to me, this, I feel, like, personally attacked... Okay. So, mm -hmm. am I the asshole for using rubber gloves when cooking? I'm 19, female, and I look after my disabled mother, who has mobility issues due to a stroke she had eight years ago. I do the cooking, giving my mother a shower if she needs, cleaning, dealing with any household issues, etc. If I'm being completely honest, it's like I'm a parent to her. Mm. I have psoriasis on my hands and other parts of my body, and as a result, my skin is very flaky, and I have multiple creams to soothe it and keep the dry skin at bay. As I do the cooking and don't want lotioned or dry skin to go on the food, 
I wear gloves to prevent this. Originally, I used disposable gloves, but me and my mom are extremely low income, and at times I have to budget down to the exact penny. So I don't think using a new pair of disposable gloves every time I make a meal is a good idea. It's also a lot of waste, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So I use rubber gloves, which I make sure are perfectly washed and dried every time I use them. The rubber gloves I use for cooking are a different pair to the ones I, view, I, I use for washing dishes. I never mix them up. I had relatives come over and they saw me cooking and were immediately disgusted and saying that they weren't going to eat anything I made if I was using rubber gloves. How could I serve my mother food like this, etc.? I was hurt because I only used them because I don't want my skin condition to affect anything. And I don't see how using clean rubber gloves is different than those rubber coverings you get to put over bowls or plates or leftover food. My mom didn't defend me and just told me to get rid of the gloves as well. I told them if they had this big of an issue, they could cook, but they said that wasn't the point. I told them about my psoriasis, and they said that wasn't the point. What? My mother is technically capable of making her food herself. She can serve herself breakfast and make freezer food, but she chooses not to because she's gotten used to coddling, being enabled of this li and this lifestyle. Okay, whoa. I want her to have some amount of independence, so normally she makes her breakfast, cereal, toast, etc., while I make lunch and dinner. Because of my relative's reaction, I make dinner and lunch five days out of seven, instead of the full week. My relatives are calling me and texting me saying I'm being rude and disrespectful and ableist, that I should think about my mother. Am I the asshole? I don't know. <laughs> I okay, guess not. So, okay, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. So, okay, here's my opinion. I The coddling sentence is the only thing that I'm kind of like, that's kind of a that's weird way to put it. That's a weird way to put it. But... Okay, so I, I worked in food service. Okay, before you say that, though, yeah, I have not worked in food service. Okay. In my mind, before getting on TikTok, using gloves, I thought was a sanitary thing. And I've seen, like, footage of, like, street food in India where people are putting, putting their hands in everything. And everybody's like, ew, disgusting, putting your hands in the food. You should wear gloves. And then a lot of people are like, that's actually more unsanitary to wear gloves. Mm. Because if you're not washing your gloves, then you're basically just, you know, you get shit on your gloves anyway. Yeah. Right? Uh, okay, And yes. in food service, it's actually most people don't wear gloves because wash your hands a lot instead of just you yeah. know whatever so this is probably cleaner than if this guy was just wearing gloves and not changing them you know that's the thing yeah right <laughs> so where when i used to work in food service uh for the most part okay i can understand in this person's scenario if they have psoriasis and they have flaky skin that's and their skin the stuff, other thing though they yeah. if they literally have like such a dry skin and like have to put lotion on their hands yeah to like not have their condition affect them yeah Gloves are a better option it's all than their hand them, and protecting right? everyone else. Because yeah. if you put water on your skin, it dries it out. Yes. Yeah. So basically, uh, so you are right in the sense that like gloves at a certain point become not as sanitary as just because not you're not washing gloves. it. So what we were supposed to do when I worked at uh, Universal mm. and also I think even at Disney as well. Disney, I didn't have to wear gloves as much uh, because I was mostly on uh, what is it? Register. But what you're supposed to do is you use gloves only for one task. Mm -hmm. And then you take them off, wash your hands, put oh. new gloves on. That's how it's supposed to work. Obviously, sometimes that doesn't happen. Yeah. It's, the real world happens where you yeah. take your gloves off and then you put new gloves on. Even yeah. then, you're still putting new gloves on at least. So yeah, at least yeah, you're, yeah. you know, because like that's how you're supposed to do it. You're not supposed to just wear one pair of gloves for, for the an whole hour day and yeah. then take them off. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's basically the same thing as so, not washing your hands. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So the, the rule was gloves take them off wash your hands and then use different gloves for different things so like if i were uh i used to make pretzels if you were rolling out pretzels that would be a pair of gloves so and then dipping is this person but i guess that's more info needed then because this person is making a whole meal just using gloves well this is where the psoriasis comes in for me okay where i feel like if you're making a whole meal uh using the one pair of gloves then that is kind of akin to that would be akin to not washing your hands, but also it's not um, you're not in such a like strict environment as like food services. Oh yeah. So to me, it's like 
Okay, so like, okay, you're making mac and cheese, Sarah. You're making your cheese. Uh, yeah, mac I and don't cheese. wash when my wash hands it? every yeah. couple of seconds. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's the thing, right? It's like during a regular meal, some people. Well, sometimes... also, like, I'm using utensils. I'm not putting my hands in shit. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. like, if you're using, okay, so you're cooking a meal. Yeah. You're gonna be using utensils and shit. You're not yeah. gonna be directly touching the food. There's yeah. only so many foods that require yeah. a real hands-on approach. You know. Yeah, yeah. So, like, if you even if you're like making a steak, you're still like. I'm using tongs. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So. So if you're using gloves and only touching huh. utensils, yeah, there really isn't unless like, it's like chicken, then you have to be careful. But yes, um, if that's the only it, thing. That's like yeah, and like there's other like you know cross contamination and shit like that. Yeah. To me personally, if this if this is just basic cooking, mm -hmm. where you're using a bunch of different utensils and you're not really like only every once in a while you have to directly touch the food, like maybe at the beginning to put it in the pan. Yeah. And then you because you could also theoretically wash your gloves while you're cooking. Yeah. Especially if you have a different pair of dishwashing gloves, you could wash them out real quick, dry them, and then put them back on. Yeah. I think there is a way around it to where you're pseudo washing your hands yeah. with the gloves. I feel like it's needed if you have psoriasis and on you your hands. If you have psoriasis on your hands and you need to have lotion on your hands, like more often than not, if you have yeah. such, if that's how bad your psoriasis is, that's a better solution for everybody yeah. than just bare boning that's it. That's what I think, too. So that's my, that's why I'm like, you're obviously not the asshole. No, yeah, I don't and think so. Yeah, These like, people are just being judgy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And they're thinking, they're thinking, oh, because you wore, because like, okay, fucking, if you think wearing gloves mm -hmm. is enough of an excuse to not eat food, don't eat out anywhere in America. Also, like, don't come to my house and say you're not going to eat my food. Yeah, and Fuck don't, you. yeah. You go In make general. your own food then. You know that's how it is. Yeah, like yeah. Go outside. Go go to dinner then. Go to fuck fucking dinner. You. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I've had people come over to my house and they see me cook, and then they're like, "I'm not gonna eat." I'm like fuck you. Yeah. Right. So like I don't know. Yeah, it's rude. Damn. Literally. Yeah. So like I don't know. Yeah. The only thing I don't like is the coddling comment, but other than that, not the asshole. Yeah, that's kind of weird. But that's a weird. I don't one. know your mom either. So but I think I it's know. just resentment. I feel like more than anything. Yeah. Just, to me, that's how it comes across. Though. Yeah, for but sure. Yeah, no. So I don't know. I don't think. I think not the asshole. I think not overall the not the asshole. Overall. Yeah, it solved it. Am I the asshole for warning my friend about her fiance? <gasps> uh <-huh. laughs> I twenty three female have this friend twenty one female that is engaged to a businessman. They dated for a year or so, and he proposed very recently. My friend, we can call her Zoe, is gorgeous, head to toe. She looks like a dark haired Barbie. However. She isn't the brightest. She's very ditzy and childlike. Okay, well. Her fiance, we can call him Brian, is the complete opposite personality wise. I know why Zoe likes him. He's on par with her physically, but intellectually, he is way above her. I am not really sure why he likes her and if he even likes her. All the times I've seen Zoe and Brian out together, Zoe would always be doing most of the talking, whereas Brian would be very stoic and keep to himself. One moment in particular that stands out to me is when we were all talking in a group with some of his friends and our friends, and he seemed so cold and uninterested. He simply sat there with an arm around Zoe, listening to her talk. He didn't add anything to the conversation. Wow. <laughs> this is such a fucking nothing, bro. <laughs> the only time I've ever heard of Brian being affectionate with Zoe is when she got a concussion and he didn't let Zoe out of his sight for the following weeks but I've never seen him be affectionate. He's extremely cold. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Last night, I brought up all my concerns to Zoe. She said that she loves him and wants to spend the rest of her life with him. She said that Brian is busy, and when he isn't working, he wants to spend time alone with Zoe. But Zoe kept on dragging him to these events, and he obliged to make her happy. She got offended when I brought up how he is so much smarter than her, and she won't speak to me anymore. Am I the asshole? <laughs> Too long, didn't read. My friend is really affectionate with her fiance, but he doesn't act that way with her. I brought up my concerns and she got mad. Yeah, that, that too long, did not read, did not add any no. context. That you, you want her man. Yeah, that's I think what so. it is. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Listen, Somebody comes. He's really you. handsome and like smarter than her, but like not smarter than me. Like if you if you have a friend that comes to you and starts saying like. Yeah, you know that person's partner, how they're just, like, so much better than them and is amazing, and I, and I am in love with them? Yeah, that, ex that experience. That uh, explains 90% of what is going on, yeah. Yeah. That's wild, man. Just being... 
Yeah, you don't like your friend then, I think. I don't think you no. like... Yeah. Why would you talk about your friend like that? It's fucking wild, actually, yeah. A dark-haired Barbie is interesting to me. Because it's like a Barbie, but with a... Like like a Barbie, but not as pretty because it's dark haired. Yeah, you know that's I kind mean? of like a weird implication with that. Yeah, that's yeah. weird. What a weird, what a weird jealous person. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Also, just like talking about nonsense. Like, what are you saying? Yeah, He's probably like, just like neurodivergent. <laughs> He's probably just doesn't like you or something. Yeah, you, you know? know? Yeah. It doesn't want to speak to you. I don't know why you wouldn't like you, though, if you don't. Yeah, yeah. you're such a uh, fucking, Such a good friend, you know. yeah. Mm. But yeah, no, yeah, I, what a weird, like, little... Yeah. That's, like, that's an insecure person, I feel like. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty really, wild, like, yeah. God, you go to Reddit and just fucking... I mean, and I guess the age gap is, I don't know. The age gap is there. It is there, yeah. It is there. It is there. It is a you little off-putting. It. But it's like, I don't know, he seems like a normal fucking guy. He seems like guy. a normal guy. He, he hasn't, hasn't seen done like, anything else, you know? Yeah, we need, yeah, we need more information than this post is giving. Yeah. For you, for us to make a decision of, like, if it's weird or not. Because, like, yeah, fucking. Yeah. Do you, like, do you know that, like, he's cheating on her or some yeah, shit? Like, 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 has he said, like, oh, I like her because she's uh, easily manipulative? Manipulated? Yeah. <laughs> You know, is he I, like a I, cartoon villain? Like, yeah, yeah. Like I, I want to know. I want to know it, what's wrong with him. He's being weird. He's just being. Yeah, if he's just like not talking to you, <laughs> that means he doesn't like you. Yeah, then you're the problem. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Like yeah, unless like this is. <laughs> you need. There needs to be another card to flip on the river before you fucking like. <laughs> hey, so I'm thinking about betrothing myself to my partner for the rest of my life. Yeah, but he just has like weird vibes uh the vibe check did not pass you did not pass uh, the vibe check yeah so therefore uh, you should uh you should all to the that curb. planning and money you're gonna spend all that money you're gonna spend and time you're gonna waste planning this thing you should just not do just it don't do it and also just like miss out on all that happiness yeah that don't be have. happy don't be happy because of the weird vibes that, that I, have. I have on him. Yeah, that I have. You don't even have. Yeah, because I know him better than you know him. Yeah. Somehow, from my perception, I'm an empath. I'm but. an empath. Yeah, that's, that's the vibe. Yeah. You're right. That's the real vibe given off here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What Isn't a that what cool? weirdo. What a little freak, dude. A little freak. Solved it. Solved it. All right. So we have an update. Ooh. On an old story no. from like. Am I going to remember what this is? Yes. Oh, okay. Because I remembered it. All right. This story comes to us from Night Fury underscore Dream. She, they. That's cool. Name. Update on Creepy Dad. Oh, wait, what? Really? Hey, guys, just want to say thanks again for reading my last story. I set some boundaries with my mother regarding about my mention of my dad and his girlfriend, which helped me, out, helped me cope with the fact that my dad is a bit creepy. Yeah. Now for the update. Oh, boy, smiley face. Oh, no. So my dad is getting married to the woman with the same name as me. So that's great. I am creeped out. My father still refuses to even acknowledge the damage he has caused and would rather marry to this new family than resolve the issues with his current family. Jesus. My younger sister told me last time she talked to dad that my father doesn't understand how I can cut ties with him and that, quote, how can I throw away my family like that? A bit hypocritical for him to say. Yeah. I guess the question I'm asking is why do adult parents have the audacity to get mad at their children when they are the problem? I kind of know the answer, but want to hear your opinions. Bro, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's our answer. I wish so, yeah, I wish I knew I could fix it, you know, and then yeah. I'd have parents. Yeah. I wish. Also, I have accepted he will marry this woman, but mm -hmm. I don't think I will ever meet her. Yeah. I would be polite if I ever do run across them, but that's it. Okay. Maybe that's a good idea. Not yeah. sure. I just don't want any issues or feel uncomfortable if I do run across them. I'm sure the woman is nice, but it's weird to me that my dad is marrying someone around the age of his oldest daughter with the same name as me. I don't know, dude. People are fucking wild. <laughs> Thank you for taking the time to read this story and wish you all an awesome day. Thank oh, you. Oh, I love you. Yeah. <laughs> fucking yeah, man. Uh, um, no, I don't know. I don't know. They just have the audacity. Sometimes I think... I, I don't... I'm, I just... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like certain parents have a resentment towards their children... For having to be responsible for their children for so many yeah. years. Yeah. 
and then they grow older and they decide that they want these things and they want to be selfish. Yeah. Because then, they are selfish people and they've never really like confronted that. Yeah. They've just either done the parenting thing, probably didn't do it very well, and then, yeah, and then decided like, to be resentful of their children for having to take care of them for years. And then they're just like, I'm going to go do this thing. And then when the children are like, well, wait, we still have a relationship and you're hurting my relationship by doing this. Yeah. Gambling, alcohol addiction, which is an addiction. So it's a little different. But, you know, just doing something that harms the relationship, being a fucking creep, a creepazoid, um, that are being abusive, you know. Yeah. Doing and engaging in behavior that is harming the relationship. Yeah, one of the shittiest things about parents is that they're still people at the end of the day. I, there's like a there's like a community episode I think about like uh like British parents and how like British parents were like absolutely shitty growing up, but then they became better people, so then everyone started liking them. But then you but still. But then have, also they never apologized. Yeah, they never apologized. Yeah, which is like I think that was yeah yeah. I actually didn't really like that episode. Really? Yeah, because it kind of it characterized Brita as being a child. For mm. not uh, making up with her parents. That's true. Yeah, you're right. Huh. It was, and she drives off on the tricycle. Yeah, you're right. Like, she chooses to be a child and independent, uh, d d you know, divorced from her parents, while mm. her parents really have never fully sat down and uh, apologized. Apologized for they what they did, yeah. They just supplemented whoever like... she is. Yeah, that's true, actually. Yeah, you're right. From behind the scenes. I just, I don't, I didn't like that. Hmm. Yeah. Weird. Yeah, I never I thought know. of it that way. Damn, that just got me. But yeah, fuck it up. But yeah, no, yeah, I don't know. Like, they're, it really does suck. They're flawed, and then they're just not going to apologize. I guess. Yeah, that's really. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how to. I don't know how to. Because, like, I don't know. I don't understand people who think they don't have a responsibility to their loved ones. Mmm, that's true. Yeah, I just don't get that. Because it really is like, yeah, you just then you just don't like them or care about them, right? Or how do you expect them to not feel that way when you say, I'm going to go do this thing? And they yeah. say, oh, that hurts me. And then you're like emotionally like, neglected. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Like, like, how do you not expect them to be hurt? I don't yeah. understand. It's a little entitled. You know, I feel like sometimes parents like that, they grow older and then they're like, you're my kid. What uh, the yeah. fuck? Uh, I'm going to live my life. Sorry, Sarah. Parents can't be entitled, but kids can be. Exactly. Fucking rotten little that's, shits yeah it, that's how that's how they are and it's i mean i don't know every parent has to like grow up as that way yeah. <laughs> where they're like okay my kid is an adult now and they're gonna you know do their whole thing yeah and we're gonna have arguments or whatever inevitably but like don't you have to come back from that and compromise right yeah teach your kid how to compromise and actually you buy compromising yeah. With your kid. Exactly. Because your kids are also going to be adults someday <laughs> and make their own decisions. Because they're not babies yeah. anymore. They can make decisions. Exactly. Hopefully, if you've been a good parent. If you've been a good parent. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, I'm sorry, listener. I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. It's a complicated uh, relationship always. Yeah. A child with a parent. Is there, is there a way to parent trap but for divorce? Like, instead of getting them together, it's you. Getting them separated. <laughs> Buy a green screen. Oh. So you can double yourself. And then work on your British accent. Make deep fakes. Yeah, <laughs> deep fakes of yourself. Being British. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> that was really dumb. Dumb. But yeah, fucking, um, like, solved it? I don't know. Did we solve it? I don't know. Sometimes parents just fucking Sometimes suck, parents dog. suck, yeah. And uh, I guess the really, what's crazy to me is the only thing that you have to do as a parent that you have to learn how to do is apologize. Yeah, right. And there's no apology here. It's the only thing. You have to know when to apologize. Uh, for what? <laughs> fucking someone around your age and your name? And what, so you're freaked out about it? Is it your feelings? You know what I mean? I don't know, man. I think it's, yeah. I've known people whose parents treated them like shit when they were a child. Yeah. And now they're cool with their parents, not because uh, their feelings were never acknowledged or whatever. It's because the parent apologized. Yeah. That is nice. Yeah. My parents have apologized to me. My mom will never apologize <laughs> to me. 
ever. And if yeah. she will, she'll be like, oh, I'm sorry. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's not it's an not, apology. It's a, yeah, it's meant to mock you for wanting an apology for yeah. being treated shittily. Yeah. Or like she will genuinely apologize and then three months later she'll hold that shit over my head yeah. again. Oh, remember when I apologize for you? Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. That's yeah. exactly what it is. Yeah, you know, shitty people are gonna be shitty. Yeah, and that's the re- that's the real tragedy. And people will always hurt you. Yeah, people are always gonna find a way to hurt you. But then you just have to apologize. Exactly. Yeah, or and they have to apologize. They have to apologize, you. and then they have to change. Yeah, exactly. Because otherwise, it's, they're just manipulating. Yeah, they can't. They can't just be like, I don't care what you say, fucking kid, and then go back to having a girlfriend. It's wild. That's a wild man. Well, and then also, I feel like. There's a, this is the last thing I'll say and then we'll move on. Yeah. So I feel like there's a mentality of like, oh, if I say I was emotionally abused growing up, you think I came home and every day my mom was like, I hate you, child. Pick the beans out of the, out of the fireplace, Cinderella. You know what I mean? And uh, no, (laughs) there are times where I loved my mom and, you know, I mean, I loved my mom for the majority of my childhood. Until the abuse became so hard, it was like, oops, nope, yeah. don't feel that anymore. This is bad. Um, <laughs> and uh, fucking, you know, there are good times you have with your parents because they're your parents. Yeah. And then there are also times where your parents just taking out their fucking anger on you and being a shitty parent. Yeah, and it sucks. And they will never apologize. Hmm. And your feelings, therefore, do not matter. Hmm. Yikes. That's yikes, yeah. Yeah. That's um long term damage. Yeah. Done to your relationship with your parent by your parent. Yeah. There's Jesus. not really anything you can do about it until they apologize. Yep. So yeah, it's not your fault, listener. No. Right? Yeah, you're right to be creeped out. You're fine. Still. Yeah. I'm creeped out. I'm creeped your out. Behalf. Yeah. I'm glad that uh you don't have to speak to him though. That's true. That is that good. That is good. Thumbs up. <laughs> Thumb the thumbs up solved it. Yeah, I don't know. yeah that's it. solved it. Solved it for realsies, though. Yeah, for people, realsies. people, people want to real solved it. They don't want that fucking knockoff shit <laughs> with a bro fist with a thumbs up. No, <laughs> bro fist, bro fist. Okay, All right, I'm ready for the next one. Though. I'm ready. Am I the asshole for taking my partner's name off the project? Yeah. <laughs> Yep. This is a Joshua Chinlin production, actually. <laughs> this is a Josh show. Shut up. <laughs> Welcome to the Josh show. We're going to fight you. <laughs> okay, so I'm in university, and I was supposed to do a group project with someone in my class. The groups were randomized, and I was selected to be with the one guy in class who was very well known for working his ass to the bone for projects and tests. The first pro- part of the project was practical, and it was about 25% of the workload. I'll admit that he did about 20% of it with me obviously doing 5%, as I genuinely tried but fumbled my way through the whole thing. Brownie face. <laughs> I'm like a brownie face emoji. I'm yeah, yeah. decently smart, to be honest, but I struggle, as do many people. This is why I was pretty happy to be placed with him, even though I was pretty afraid I couldn't live up to his levels and let the team down. As we finished the practical parts of the project, the unfortunate tragedy of a family member's passing struck. Um, he immediately let me know that this happened and he left the country to attend the funeral. I was a bit annoyed. The country too? Yeah. I was a bit annoyed by this because it. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. What the fuck did you just say to me? Twice in a (laughs) row? Two podcasts in a row? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What is going on at colleges? uh, That's what I'm saying. You fucking young people. I know. The audacity, yeah. actually. Hold on. Ugh. I'm getting visceral oh my God. validation from this. I was a bit annoyed by this because it wasn't a discussion or anything like that. He legit texted, hey, I'm leaving town, won't be able to work as my family member has just passed away. I get that it's difficult to deal with. <laughs> but. I'm waiting for the butt. I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. Come on. But. Uh, I get that it's difficult to deal with. It's a horrific thing to deal with, but it's really not an excuse to dump a two-person job onto me. Anyway, by the time he was back in town, the project was about 80% completed by me. He, We had four days due, and I video called him. He looked distraught, and I expressed my condolences, but told him that the remaining 20%... There's so <laughs> many buds! You asshole! Oh my god! <laughs> 
Yo, I love it. Listen, how can guys, he not be the asshole when there's so he, many butts? Yeah, you know, yeah, because there's a lot. There's a lot of qualifiers. Okay, there's yeah. a lot of you know. Listen, hold on, maybe. He looked distraught, and I expressed condolences, but told him that the remaining 20% of the work was his responsibility. The workload was supposed to be 50-50, but given the circumstances, I was more than okay to let it slide if it was just 40-60. He did it. What? (laughs) That's where you're... Wow, you fucking... What are you, an accountant? Just number... Oh my god, don't fucking tell me. No, I think the previous one that I read, the girl that was stupid was an accountant. Uh, okay. All the, right. the girl that the OP said was stupid was like an accounting it's weird major. that you're like counting number like num- numerically like. No, this person's just a up. dick. Yeah. Um, he did it, but when I checked it late on the night before, it looked pathetic. I was expecting some magic from the guy everyone says is the best in the class, but it looked like a high schooler wrote it. I called him, but no response. So I just redid his section, meaning the workload was about twenty eighty on me. We were supposed to fill out peer evaluation forms and write all collaborators' names in the project headings. I struck his name from the headings and instead cited his practical work as I felt just contributing lab work that anyone could have done wasn't worth a place in the headings. He cornered me when I submitted the work and was yelling how this was going to ruin his grade in the class because it would have been a zero from him. I told him that the workload was meant to be 50-50 and by my grace it should have been 40-60 but he chose to phone it in and ruin my grade. By your, by my grace, I'm not going to fucking punch you in the face. Jesus. Yeah. What the fuck? I told the professor about this as well, and she said that she'd think about what to do about the situation. I can only hope she'll be logical rather than emotional, because I admit I'm a cold person and cold people win. I'm not doing more work and letting it slide. What a bitch. <laughs> Holy shit. I hate you. No. You know what? Listen, listen. Last time yeah, I, I know. Hate you. Yeah, I kind of went Last off. time I went off on computer majors. I'm going to apologize. I'm going to apologize to them. Whoever real quick. this is. Whatever, whatever this is, is. Whatever this person's degree is. Engineering. Gen Ed. <laughs> yeah. Gen Ed. Yeah, for sure. Gold people win. I, you know what? Fucking contact. If you know, if this one goes viral. Yeah. Fucking contact me and I'll fucking put you in your goddamn place. <laughs> oh, All right, you fucking asshole. Some people think it's bait. I don't know. It might be bait. It might be bait. It might be bait. But you I'll, know what? I don't care. I they love make bait. a good point that like the guy should have gotten an extension for a family member. That message. is true. Yeah. But I do know some professors are like, if you're not in the obituary, I'm not giving you an extension. Jesus. I fucking know. Assholes. Crazy, dude. I guess because they uh, kids also lie about their grandmother's passing yeah and yeah they should also go fuck themselves but yeah, like yeah you know. i mean yeah so i don't know jesus christ man now though the whole class is fucking me over taking me off shared class notes and high school bullying me i don't think i deserve it but do i am i the asshole if well, so you know, what if can i do to make it up how about you be a little bit logical and understand that you're an asshole how about that yeah you cold person yeah you're cold if why you're would cold, you call yourself a cold person yeah who wants to be that yeah I mean, I don't know. No one wants to hang out with you anymore. Yeah, that's the consequence. Think logically. <laughs> Think lo- Yeah, your actions have consequences, you fucking idiot. Yeah, dummy. You fucking illogical. Yeah, yeah, like that's you- the logical conclusion. That's the logical conclusion. If you're gonna, if you talk shit, you get hit. <laughs> yeah. 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 If A, then fucking B. Yeah, exactly. You dumbass. Yeah. Mm. You know, there's such thing as people skills, right? Yeah, right? Then they're you, yeah, you want, arguably the most important skills. They're the most important skills, yeah. And yeah. you don't have any of them, and it's awesome for me, because I get to make fun of you. <laughs> but, like, you know, fucking, like, holy shit, man. You don't even deserve to make pretzels. Like, Jesus. Yeah. Piss off. Yeah. What a bitch, man. Holy shit. I hate I don't asshole. even know what to fucking say. Yeah, obviously an asshole. Uh, from another a, Wow, so realm. many, like... I, that's why I wonder if it's bait because it like, might be. Yeah, I mean, I like reading it. I love reading it too. I'm not gonna yeah. not read bait. I don't give all right, a shit. I love bait. I'm not gonna like what you think. I'm a fucking fool. I'm gonna I'm go a, on. Am I the I'm, devil? You think scroll, I'm, read a thing, and be like, oh, I'm doing this on the podcast, and the first comment is it's gotta be bait. That I'm pilot didn't care. That pilot thing wasn't bait. That, that was a that real was guy. A real goddamn they guy. They said that shit was bait. It's I not. I thought it was fucking bait too. Yeah, you know what? Who knows? So, Who cares? He got interviewed. I love that fucking. Uh, I love that shit, man. Oh, can we talk about that real quick? Because I know oh, we yeah. tweeted about this. Yeah, Fucking, we got um, mentioned in an article. Our video got embedded on like some like MSN type like thing. Yeah. And it went like somewhat viral. Like we earned like 5,000 views on that video. Yeah, for sure. Like crazy. And now the guy is like, yeah, Reddit put him in his place and he got interviewed about it. And he was like, damn, 
So now him and his wife are going to do like aviation things together or something. Okay, that's good. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, yeah, fucking. They tried to be like, he was like, everybody's bullying me. And I'm like, no, you're an idiot. Do you deserve it? (laughs) Sorry, you do. (laughs) Like, you were crazy. You were an asshole during that. Yeah, in that post. Yeah, there is redemption. I think that's the one yeah, thing. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, there's always redemption. But in that one I'm post, not in you your were fucking like, "Marriage, you were saying that your wife forgets things." That's pretty crazy. That is a pretty fucking crazy. And thing. And then you accused her of not knowing what it's like to study. She's a software engineer. Yeah. Like I mean, it obviously is misogynistic. Pretty misogynistic. Yeah, I that's pretty fucking I don't crazy. Don't honestly, give a shit how you apologize to the internet. So I don't know. Yeah, fucking. I don't know. Do better. Do better next time. Yeah, that's it. Champ. Champ. Damn. <laughs> Go off, King. Okay, but no, yeah, <laughs> okay, fucking okay, damn. Yeah. Next story. Next story. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Okay. Uh. Oh, can I can I do something real quick? There was one story that was a little too long, and I was gonna try and do today. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna do it. Okay. But I do want to mention this epic fucking meme they made. Oh yeah, it was really funny. <laughs> yeah, I did tweet this out, but just to be on the safe side, and I want to do this real quick. So, oh my god, yeah, it's too long. It's, it's way too fucking long, long. Yeah. and I'm sorry. It's I, probably good. It's, it's just probably very good, long. But yeah, we don't have the time for it. But I do want to say this today because I think it's a it's a good dig. So, from anonymous she her, mm-hmm. hey hot Sarah and that other guy, I've been a, I've been a long time listener, and I gotta say, you two are now my favorite white people to see talk on the internet. A year ago, a therapist said I should write this down to help process what happened. Now you both need stories to read, so here you go. <laughs> I'd love to hear Josh say, wow, I don't know, wow. <laughs> and then Josh, Sarah goes on a long rant explaining exactly how it all is, and then Josh says, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Solved it. <laughs> so, you're welcome. You get to you got to type in a whole long story <laughs> and an update, and I happen to be the one to read it first. <laughs> so, you're fucked. You don't get to, your story's not gonna get read, but that part. You fuck. You're really funny, though. You're funny. You <laughs> are funny. funny you're hell. funny. You're funny. And little, you're so funny right. That is how it is. That is how Don't it is. Don't fucking encourage that. It is how it is. <laughs> Don't fucking. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Dude, and I really want to mention, like, last episode, or maybe two episodes ago, you gave some advice, and I was like, good job. Like, you actually, like, actually gave advice, and I was like, damn, you did a good job. And I thought, I think about that sometimes where I'm like, I've become a guest on my own show. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta give advice, man. I don't know. No, fuck that. Fuck that shit. I think part of it is I cut you off and I'm just like, I have to say everything that I think in my brain and then there's nothing else to say. You know what I mean? I get that. Okay. And yeah. then, yeah. And then I'm like, I agree. Yeah. Also, how many times do you hear the same scenarios over and over and yeah, over again? Yeah, at some point it's like, yeah. So fucking bad. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But this is the, all right. Next story. How about this? I'll leave you the layups. Fuck that. Now I feel like there's pressure on me. God damn it. Fuck. That was funny. Okay, next next story. I've become a husk of a fucking podcaster. (laughs) Okay, so this next story comes to us from Kai. She, her, they, them. Either one, I don't really care. What's up, Kai? Hey, Josh and Sarah. Hello. My name is Kai. I'm 20 years years old and go by she, her, they, them pronouns. I love the podcast. I've been listening since I found the podcast TikTok. Mm. Sarah, your reaction faces make me laugh so hard. Oh, I've talked you. to Sarah on Twitter a couple of times. I have a picture of a Kirby plushie outside holding a knife as my profile pic. Fuck yeah. And I'm a member of the Respectably Sims for Sarah, uh, Sarah fans. Nice. Josh, you're cool too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't say that. They didn't say that. <laughs> they didn't say that? Josh, I, th- I think I have talked to Kai on Twitter. Yeah. Josh, you remind me of my boyfriend because you are chaotic and you both are freaking amazing. Oh, that that is just one sentence. Keep being awesome and creating content that I can listen to while working. Nice. <laughs> also, I'm sorry for the long story you're about to read. Am I the asshole for, not, for considering not inviting my mom to my college graduation? Mm. I'm in my last semester of college and will be graduating in May of 2023. I've worked my ass off to get my associate's degree in psychology. It ended up taking me three years instead of two because I work full time and sometimes depressive episodes make focusing on school really difficult. What totally a get fucking that. mood. Yeah. It took me like five years to get my AA. I so. feel that, yeah. yeah. Regardless, I'm incredibly proud of where I'm headed in life. The graduation ceremony is taking place in the, at the bigger campus about an hour and a half from where I currently live. My plan is to invite my boyfriend, my youngest sister, A, and my dad. My stepmom might come as well, but scheduling around her work schedule makes it hard for her to travel. My family and boyfriend have been a big support in the three years I've been in college, and I could not be thankful enough to them. Now, here comes the issue. 
My mom and I's relationship has never been the greatest. And when I graduated in 2020, I only had four tickets for seating due to COVID rules. I gave two tickets to my dad for him and his wife and one ticket for my mother. Bio mom asked if she could have the spare ticket for my aunt. And I initially said yes on the promise that she would not show up after having smoked earlier in the day. And she did not start anything with my father. They currently do not speak and my mother smokes legal tree. Okay. This led to several arguments between mom and myself and ultimately led to me giving the, my last ticket to A and being done with it. Mm. The day of my graduation, mom did not show up and I received a, a good job text saying she was already in the car and leaving. Turns out she did not even attend and I went LC with her for about two months. Yeah. It really fucked up my mental state and how I viewed her. I want to invite her and have her celebrate with me, but I know there's a risk she makes it about her. Any advice would be helpful again. Sorry about that book of text. Kai. No, oh, it's okay. Um, yeah, I don't think I would. <laughs> straight up. I don't wow, think yeah, I would. yeah, I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah. But no, no, fucking, um, like, straight up, like, I, I, yeah, because she is going to try and make it about herself, right? Yeah, She's obviously. already, like, kind of, like, uh, what's it called? Fucking weaponizing the ticket and, like, the yeah. opportunity to be there. Yeah. She's like literally. It should be about you. It should be about you. It's yeah. your day. It's your fucking like it actual celebration. Incredibly hard for and this. You get to decide at the end of the day who you bring. You know. Yeah. Again, adult, adult parents are just fucking people. If they're shitty, you treat them like shitty people. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and you set boundaries with her, and then she was like, "Fuck you." And then yeah. She yeah. Whenever someone breaks boundaries, fuck them. Like, I mean, yeah, yeah straight up. That means they don't respect you. They yeah. don't respect you, and they don't care. Yeah. And yeah, so I don't know. Like, literally, fucking um. Just fucking, yeah, don't invite her. Yeah, and you could just be like, well, I mean, the last time you fucked up, so hey, I remember you when don't you texted this. me saying good job and then never showed up. Yeah, I don't want that to happen again, I don't want that so to happen you again. don't get yeah. to come in. Sorry. It, it will start a big fight, but also, like, you could just be like, yeah, no. When do you want the fight to happen? Before, the like, your celebration or, or after on, on the, the celebration? Yeah. yeah, exactly. That's the thing. And the reality is, you don't want it on your fucking special day. Yeah. You want that day to be special for a reason. Yeah. Make sure it's special. Don't invite her. And with moms like this, I would look up, like, gray rocking. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah. Because when they're being overly dramatic like this and being children, you just, like, say, like, hey, this is what's gonna happen. Like, I have had, um, and it, it sucks because they will try to make you as uncomfortable as possible like one time i was on a bus and my mom called me and was screaming in my ear screaming in my ear because i i don't know about something that i did i guess yeah. <laughs> she didn't like and i whatever the argument was she was screaming and calling me names and i was just like yeah you're not gonna talk to me like that and i hung <laughs> up and then she called me back and she was like did you just hang up on me and i was like yes are you gonna keep yelling and she was like right and I hung up on her again. And I looked crazy because I was on a bus. And you were just like... With people. Boop, yep. Boop. Boop. Yep. Boop. Boop. And uh, sometimes that's what you got to do to like... It sucks because you're parenting your mother. Yes. Yeah. And like you're... you're the roles have been reversed to such a degree and you're becoming yeah. your like adult yeah. way too young. Yeah. Parentification. Yeah. Sure. That's what it is. And, and it's, it's like... It sucks that you even have to do that. And it's embarrassing but also know that it's embarrassing for your mother. She's embarrassing herself. Yeah, exactly. You know? It's not yeah, it's not your fault that no. your mother is being shitty. Yeah. Your mother's shitty and is making it your problem. And any normal person who sees this scenario, it, like you know, a mother freaking out at you at, at your graduation is going to be like, "God damn, that poor kid." Mm. They're not going to be like, "Oh, what did that kid do?" But yeah. I know that like parents like this try to make you think like Oh my god. Everyone's gonna think you're the asshole because I'm yelling at you. <laughs> Dude, memory unlocked. Bro. Okay, yeah, yeah. FSU orientation. Uh yeah, orientation for FSU. Yes. So okay. uh I'm there we we had this weird um thing where this a veteran was gonna come in and scream at us and make <laughs> us uh all sing the FSU anthem or something. Okay. And my, I was sitting next to my mom. And something happened. She said something uh, rude. And so I moved over one seat and my mom uh, texted me. You're being ridiculous right now. <laughs> How fucking dare you? What a fucking crazy person. And I didn't notice because I was watching the thing. And she leaned over. And she's like, <laughs> Look at your phone. Yeah, Just because like if she said it out loud, everyone yeah. would be like, you're a fucking like, yeah like yeah. literally and it was just like so like she was so fucking angry at me that i could feel her being like 
fucking look at your phone. Look at your goddamn phone. Yeah, like literally, like and one seat. Like, okay, one seat. One seat, like moved over. Dude, and I like, set up seats like that. We, the, the, like, who cares? It, it, uh, the imagine, imagine thinking that your daughter moving away from you is enough for other people to think you're a bad mom. So much so that you're what angry at your daughter. Yeah, it's everyone's fault but mine. It's everyone's fault but mine. You have to be batshit insane to think That's that. That's so funny, dude. And it's just like, and it's not, it's like, and now looking back at that, I'm like, no one gave a shit. No one fucking cared. They were no all at fucking, FSU trying to go no one, to college. There was like another guy talking at the front of the room. No one, yeah. No one fucking noticed. They were all looking at that guy. You didn't move your seat and then everyone was like, and, she just moves. <laughs> Like, no one cared. That was just to control me. Yeah. You know? Yeah, because that's all it's about. That's all that's about. That's that's about. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. You don't let someone come in and take control of your life. Especially after you worked so fucking hard for this achievement. Yeah. Not I went to college for like four that. years and didn't even get a degree, so congrats. I'm still in college for like whoa, don't think seven about it. years. Don't think about it. Seven years, dude. I've been in college since 2016. Maybe Ew. two years removed since I stopped going. But still, but, yeah. But, like, I still don't have my bachelor's degree, and it's taken me a long time. And I didn't even get an associate, hard. so you're fine. Yeah, yeah. it's hard, it's man. It's hard. Yeah. So you did a fucking great thing. You shouldn't let somebody... Um, Tarnish it. Yeah. And take it from you. Yeah. Wow, wow, yeah. yeah. Solved it. Wow, wow. Wow, wow, we were. Wow, wow, we were. Why that... King of the castle. Like, King of the <laughs> castle. <laughs> at least they think I'm Borat, you know? At least, yeah. at least that person whose story I'm not gonna read out of spite thinks I'm Borat and I, at the end of the day that's a positive <laughs> the end of the day uh, also like people can DM me like you can DM me on Twitter it's like, I will respond I don't get that many DMs yeah just don't DM me creepy shit be nice DM her creepy pastas send her back rooms actually yeah send me creepy pastas I want to read them okay <laughs> Am I the asshole for saying my sister-in-law's request after giving birth is creepy and weird? Ooh. What's the request? That's what I want to know. My 25 female. Brother Liam's 30 male. Girlfriend Liz, 40 female. The brother's 30 male. 30 male. His girlfriend is 40 female. Okay. And the, the poster is 25 female. Is one of the most powerful politicians in our local area. What? She's very popular and is, is a nice fake. person. I know. This I feel is like, so fake. I feel like it is. And from everything she's said and done, I know she cares a lot about making things better for the community. However, Liz is obsessed with fashion and clothes. She's very much a no such thing as overdressed kind of gal. I've never once seen her without her makeup and hair fully done, a nice dress and stylish shoes. Since they got together, I've never seen Liam in a t-shirt or trainers other than the gym. He's always getting a haircut. She doesn't make him do this, but he wants to match her stylishness. Hmm. Sounds like a terrible person. <laughs> she yeah, should burn awful. in hell. Terrible. Yeah. Liz gave birth yesterday to a beautiful baby boy, and both mother and baby are doing very well. Liam called me and asked me to do something for them before they came home. Liz wants me to go to their place, bring one of her maternity dresses, heels, and makeup, bring them to the hospital so Liz can dress up when they leave. I said yes, because this is a special time for them and I don't want to ruin it, but I also said, this is creepy and weird. Why? She just wants to wear the clothes she normally wears after giving birth. I've never had kids, but if I give birth, the last thing I'd want to do is put stilettos on. Even though she did wear them throughout the pregnancy and waste time doing makeup and hair. So wait, waste time. Okay, that's a little. Do you hate women that put me? Are you one of those weirdos like that a like pick me? Yeah, yeah. Yes, that's kind of weird. You pick me to your brother. <laughs> you want your brother to pick you, dude? Yeah, that's weird. gross, weirdo. Liam got annoyed with me and said I was going to be a. I was if I was. Oh fuck me, Jesus! I can't read. Liam got annoyed with me and said if I was going to be a judgmental prick, then he'll ask Liz's parents to do it. I wasn't being judgmental. I'm happy Yay. to help. I just think it's a bit weird that getting dolled up is a, her priority when she has just had a baby. How are you not being judgmental when you say it's creepy? Yeah, like, and what's the implication here? Like, what else should she be doing? She's just like, she just had a baby, so all her attention should be on the baby instead of getting dressed up? But like, that's... 
She's still allowed she's to still get dressed. She's still allowed to get dressed. No, she should be naked all the time. Right. And just only focus on the baby as a politician. It's like, it, it gives off like one of those, like, where it's like a mom is like, I haven't had a shower in two days. And then people are like, it doesn't matter. You're a mom. Babies come first. And it's like, no, take a shower. Take a shower. Yeah. That's good for you. No, you need to yeah. have self care also. Listen, I'm not one of those guys that's going to be like, you should shower every day. I just happen to shower every day. You do. Yeah. Yeah. But like, you know, if you don't do anything, you don't need to shower. Well, you know? I, like, I mean, fucking, um, that's not what I mean. I mean, oh, like, um, when like a dad doesn't do anything. And oh. a mom is like been taking care of the kids all day and then realizes I haven't taken a shower in like seven days. Yeah. Like, you know, those ones where like the oh, dad is playing like, Xbox yes. and the mom is like, and the dad doesn't can do you anything. take care of the baby while I go take a shower? And the dad's like, no. Yeah. <laughs> You're the mom, so you have to take care of the baby. Yeah, that's ridiculous. That's how it gives off. That is kind of, yeah. So like. The vibe. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. So like, I don't know. It's not even, it's not a weird request. No, it's not weird. I don't think. It's close. I mean, I guess I would be like, I wouldn't want to wear heels. Yeah, but that's a that's a personal decision at the end of the day. If you're used to wearing heels and you want to look good, yeah, it's up to you. Also, like, don't they take photos? Yeah, eventually. And if you're a local politician, they're gonna take photos of you. That's kind of like like personal photos for your family. But that's true. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. So like, okay. Let's say this is real. Yeah. Local politician. Yeah, she's Gmail, gonna be like wheeled out. She's gonna be wheeled out. And yeah, they're gonna take photos of her. So with yeah, the baby. they're gonna take photos and the baby. So like, there is going to be a ten. Okay, so this is this is really more of a talk about how shitty yeah culture is <laughs> about like uh, I guess like the the makeupification of like. Well, I think you can. You can wear makeup. I don't. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. But it is a thing in politics. You have to look presentable at all. Yes. Time. Yeah. So I can understand. So that's why it's not weird to me in this scenario of like. I think if you're actually concerned about how she feels, I would. You should be like. You should talk hey, to her about know, how she feels. It's okay. You just had a baby. You don't have to get dressed up. And if she goes, no, I want to, then do it. Then do bitch. it. Yeah. <laughs> don't be like, oh, yeah. you're a fucking weirdo for wanting to do this. Yeah. That's the because then you're being judgmental. Yeah, because then the judgment comes out. That's yeah. when the judgment. Yeah, and she's not a judge; she's a politician. Okay, solved it. <laughs> so, we fucking did it. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> really got us, man. With that, <laughs> really got dunked on. I'm not hurt. I'm hurt. <laughs> <laughs> but no. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Just fucking. Listen just to the do it. just listen to the fucking pregnant woman's formerly pregnant woman's requests. There are two times when you have to do everyone's requests, and it's when someone is terminally ill and somebody just gave birth. Yeah, that's it. Those yeah. are those times. Literally, that's it. Just fucking do it. Yeah, just fucking go. Just fucking do it, pussy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. God, that yeah. What a judgmental asshole, man. Yeah. This next story comes to us from anonymous. Anonymous. I'm getting my 70-year-old grandpa kicked out in a few months. Am I the asshole? <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Buckle the, the fuck the up. You fucking Buckle said that Buckle the shit fuck up. was very aggressive. I'm getting Let's my 70-year-old grandpa kicked out in a few months. Am I'm I the asshole? I'm gonna do it. Let's fucking <laughs> hear it. I will. Let's go. Hear me out. I know it sounds bad, but let me explain. I, 20 female, had a living situation that caused me to pack my stuff and get out. I do plan on getting my own place by the end of the year. I didn't know where to go, so I called my godmom, and she offered to get me and all my belongings, and I could stay with them under the conditions that, one, I pay utility, and two, I get on food stamps to help with groceries. None of those things are a problem for me at all. I'm very thankful, honestly. The issue is, after I moved in, my grandpa's been creeping me out to the point where I can't even sleep most nights. I understand he's old, but I don't think it's an excuse for half of his behavior. The first problem was that he didn't shower or wash his hands when he would use the restroom and I got that that he's old and I get that he's old. So I let it slide and kept it to myself. Then things just kept getting weirder. Let me throw in that I've only been here for two weeks. Okay. My grandpa would just come out of his room to stare at me and not say anything he did this at least four times a day. What? And then just go back to his room and start watching porn. What? He stared at me so long while I was doing my laundry that I asked him if he needed anything, and he just said, I'm just watching you. He does this at night and even as early as three in the morning when I'm sleeping, and it really freaked me out. What the fuck, dude? He would even leave his door open and watch me from his room when no one else was home or when everyone else was asleep because I sleep in the living room. I have no door. 
Then he started using the bathroom with the door wide open with the light off when he used to close the door and turn the light on. I've also had to tell him more than once to turn his adult videos, adult videos down because it will wake me up out of my sleep or keep me from sleeping. I've had to tell him to close his door because he started watching the videos when the, with the door wide open when it's just me and him at home. He also stands so close behind me to where I step on his toes if I try and move. It got to the point where I broke down and told my uncle everything, and he's told me to also that he also finds him creepy and feels like he can't have his grandkids come over, or come over, and that he's been trying to convince my godmom to send him back to his own house for months. Oh shit! My godmom doesn't want to send him back to his house because my uncle doesn't treat him very well, and I know he's here. He was here first, but I'm scared he'll do something horrible to me. He also likes to watch me and my boyfriend, and I feel like I can't touch my partner because it's going to stimulate my grandpa. My uncle said my uh, uncle said my grandpa's getting kicked out in March because of this. Am I the asshole? No. Terrifying. That dude. is terrifying. I'm That's sorry. It's like a horror movie that you just described. Literally, yeah. It is awful. Well, your grandpa watching you from the dark, dude. That's fucking creepy as shit, That's dude. It's so fucking creepy, dog. It's fucking Listen, I I've I've been around old people a lot more than other people my age and yeah. uh it's not normal behavior. That's not normal behavior at all. Nope. No. No. That is a problem. No. no. Nope, nope. You know, this is a story where someone needs to be put in a home. Yeah. Yes. In a grave. <laughs> In uh, somewhere else, not in, uh, around a 20-year-old girl. Yeah, exactly. That he has a fixation on. Yeah, um, that's all fucking awful. So, yeah, no, fucking, um... It's a little above my pay grade. Yeah, it's a little bit above <laughs> my, yeah. I don't, I don't, you know, I didn't realize that it was gonna be, uh, you know, I picked the story a week but, ago, um, and, uh, man, I don't know why. <laughs> I deleted a lot How of other stories, but this forgot. one... That's going to be in my nightmares. <laughs> Bro, that's terrible. What? I'm, I'm worried about putting him in a home to be around other women. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, you know, honestly, yeah. Like, what, you got a basement? You got a chain? You got a solitary confinement? Yeah. I think he should be in jail. He's committed some crime. I don't know what crime, but he's committed he's a committed crime. He's committed something, yeah. He's committed something. He's done something. He needs to be in jail for some reason. And it's not your fault, listener. Okay, so yeah, let's talk about people that don't deserve to live in that house with you. Because, <laughs> like, I don't know, if you're the, even though you, okay, because, like, I feel like, uh, I feel like you're thinking it from the perspective of, uh, not you, the listener, I mean, like, the perspective of he was technically here first, but that does not excuse any of the actions. Like, that's kind of like, that's like, I guess maybe why I chose this one, where it's kind of like, you could have all the fucking, like, yeah. Like, what is it? Like, uh, uh, you could have the advantage of being here first, or you could be like, you know, you could say you have like tenure or something like that, but that doesn't give you an excuse to be creepy and shitty and just feel like you play, you're safe in, in this house when you come into like, when someone else comes into the house and is not being creepy, but you're being creepy, you should get kicked out, you know? You shouldn't doubt yourself when you go to someone else and they're like, yes, I exactly agree. I have had this thought many to years before. To the point where before. like, yeah, like that... The, the grandkids won't this go is over. A problem, this yes. is a problem, yeah. So this is really a failure of people like, to, like, not... How does he treat the godmother? That Yeah, that's another... That's a good question, because, like... When, before you showed up, was he doing that to the godmother? And she's just dealing with it because she doesn't know where to put him? Fucking crazy. Yeah. Because, yeah, so, I don't know, because especially when you're living on, like, the couch and dealing with yeah. all of this, and he's just, like... She just, like, let you come into a completely unsafe situation? Yeah, which, if that's the case... Which, maybe that could happen if she's, like, I don't know what to do, you know? Like, but, she, it seems like she's just trying to help, but she doesn't... She's not... She's not... You but, know? So, like, I would talk to the godmother to be, like, hey, listen, this is creepy. I don't know if I could stay here. Yeah. Um, Because I feel unsafe and then if she's like fuck you <laughs> then you are yeah, like you, okay yeah, no. both these people are crazy people I'm gonna get the to fuck get out, out of here yeah. so like yeah but if it seems like he's already getting kicked out I think that's a good thing he's got a, an illness right he's got he's gotta have he's an got okay, I hope so I right God, he's not he's, just like, he's a like a predator cre like, yeah like literally or he's a predator he's a yeah that's one of the two things either he's a predator or he has an illness both of which are not or an excuse or, or both. Who knows? And he does not, he should not be in that house with you. Yeah. And I think you're very right to be worried about your safety. Yes. And I yeah. hope you get to a safe place. I hope so too. And I'm sorry. God. That's crazy. 
That's fucking that wild. Was, that was terrifying. I'm sorry. And listen, like, I don't think old people are creepy. I'm not like one of those people that is like, all old people are creepy. But yeah, I think when you're a young woman, uh, older oh, yeah, men. When, when old men are being creepy. Yeah, it's dangerous. It is dangerous. Fucking oldie, old fucking like grew up in the 60s, 70s. When I was a like a young child, I lived in um, a condominium place, which is basically just a bunch of apartments, upscale apartments. And um, it was mostly a bunch of older people that lived around and were our neighbors. And I remember, um, uh, you know, this old guy that would say hi to me every day. Yeah. And uh, I would walk home alone. And my dad walked me home one time. My dad was also an older man. Mm. And uh, my dad was like, do you say hi to him a lot? And I was like, yeah. I was like, yeah, he's just an old guy. It's fine. I was like, I don't know, who cares? He's old. He's not going to yeah, hurt yeah. me. And my dad was like, those are the ones you have to care about the most. This is what my dad was. My dad was legit like, pro tip, don't trust them. <laughs> don't trust them, yeah. Don't trust old people. If they're making it, if they're going out of their <laughs> way to like fucking. And my dad at the time probably was like 58. So he was like, don't trust us. Don't trust us. We're creepy. Yeah. That's a, okay. That's a good, Isn't like, that at crazy? least dad, like, that's kind of a good, like, at least your dad's prepping you for. Well, I think and my. And worried about your safety, but like. Well, it's interesting because my dad, he passed when he was 73. And, uh, 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 uh it's kind of implied. I, I think he really struggled with growing up in the fifties mm. um, and having sort of, you know, growing up around racists and misogynists and yeah. that being a part of the culture. And I think as he grew up, he was like, and got older, like in later life, he kind of realized like he was ashamed of that. Mm. So I think he was like, he noticed, you know, when you're older, you look at other people, like how your grandmother is like, there are Trumpers in her neighborhood. Yeah. And she's like, fuck those people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. I think that's what my dad was trying to get across was like, they're not, don't trust them. I yeah. don't trust them. I don't, trust, I don't trust, them, trust them. You shouldn't trust you them. You shouldn't fucking trust them. Exactly. And you know I can understand I mean? that. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's a good thing at least. Yeah. I think, yeah. Hmm. So yeah. I don't know. Yeah. This is definitely an old person lookout though. I like, get, fucking. It, but there is this mentality of like, he's old. Yeah. No. It's yeah. Like, no, 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 yeah. You can still cause harm. Exactly. Yeah. You good? That's crap. Wait, what? Mm, on the back. Oh, shit. I don't even know. Oh, my God. No. I don't even know how long it's been. Damn. Still works, so I don't give a shit. Okay, that's good. It. Was it only on the back? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, that's on my phone, too. We gotta get new phones. We do. Patreon.com. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. Last one for me. Okay. Am I the asshole for reporting my coworker to HR for speaking another language and excluding me from conversation? <laughs> what? I, female 23, have recently started an internship at a fairly big company. It's unpaid, but you take what you can, right? I work with 20 to 30 other people who are mostly between 30 to 50 years old, mostly men, but a few women also. We have a break slash lunch room that's solely for our department, and we can take um, pee if lunch break or whenever we want or split it however we like An example we can take six 10 minute breaks instead of having one hour one okay okay one day i decided to take my break and went to make myself coffee there were two people in the break room jody and amber fake names obviously both female in their 30s jody is a latina while amber is from some random small country in europe that i've never even heard of whatever okay well hold on <laughs> <laughs> whatever 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 really cultural you are you're really like cognizant of like other countries I, it's such, it's so that's such a shitty way damper. to put it yeah I, get it. I greeted them and they greeted me back i went to make myself coffee and wanted to sit with them and join their conversation and make friends but they switched to spanish and carried on talking i asked them if they could switch to english because it's rude to speak another language when i don't understand it yeah or whatever yeah yeah, Mr. Whatever, yeah. Amber told me it's a private conversation and they won't be switching. I told her she's incredibly rude and she related that it's a private conversation on a break. I told her she's rude and not even Latina, so she can't so she had no business speaking what? Spanish. If you're white, you can only speak God's American. <laughs> Bro, some country in Europe I've never even heard of. Spain. Probably, yeah, like, even, like, yeah, yeah I, there's other, probably other countries, too, that speak <laughs> Spanish in Europe. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people speak Spanish. Yeah. Lots and lots of people. Some, um, some country. Also, bilingual, why not? Bilingual, yeah. 
No, it's bad to learn things. Yeah, I can't do that. That's She's so <laughs> fucking funny. What an idiot. <laughs> she literally just ignored me, queen, which pissed me off even further as I found it incredibly disrespectful. The same day, I went to the HR and filed a complaint for Amber. Why are you so worried about speaking Spanish when you can't even yeah, fucking you, speak English, so dude? I, yeah, can you say that again? Yeah, let's, yeah. Just, let's just soak it all in. The same day, I went to the HR and filed a complaint for Amber for making a hostile work environment. Nothing can. Not hostile. They're having a private conversation. And and I need to be in, in everyone's conversation uh, yeah. or else it's a hostile work environment. Or Yeah, because every conversation I'm not a part of is about me. Yeah. Nothing came of it yet, but somehow everybody knows what's happened, and they're pissed oh, yeah? off at me. <laughs> oh yeah, well, oh, boo hoo, or boo whatever, who. whatever. Whenever I break into the, whenever I enter the break room, they all stop talking. Uh, blah 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 blah. Whenever <laughs> I enter the break room, they all stop talking, and no one wants to chat with me. At this point, I feel like it's bullying. <laughs> Not that I'm a terrible person, and people don't want to talk to She's me. She's from some country in Europe, whatever. Yeah, no, you're not a bully. You're yeah, getting, you you're sound being like somebody bullied. I want to be friends with. Yeah. If you're a dick, no one's going to want to talk to you. Yeah, exactly. I asked Jody for help Racker. as she was the witness, but Jody said that I was an asshole for reporting Amber for nothing and to apologize or suck it up. Queen shit. <laughs> Honestly, don't think I was an asshole. I think Amber was rude, but I don't know anymore. Who's the asshole here? You. You. You were. You idiot. You fucking idiot. Dumbass. And I hate people like this too. I chose this one specifically because I was like, I worked um, at a place where I sort of made friends with a bunch of people who are from Puerto Rico. Oh, yeah. And they had a friend who, um, a coworker who actually did not speak English that well mm. and mostly communicated in Spanish. And th it was they tried like really hard to be like, so this is what she's saying, like to me, to, uh -huh. because they were like scared I was going to get mad. Yeah. That's and I like, was like, it's okay. You no. can have conversations by yourself. I'm not, I was here to eat lunch, fam. Like, yeah, you know like, what yeah, I you mean? You guys are good. Yeah. I was just like, and I felt really bad because I was like, I don't Why are you guys afraid? You don't yeah, need like, to. Why? You can speak Spanish. It's yeah. okay. And also I understand a little Spanish. So yeah. I would like laugh whenever they would make a joke and then they would look at me like, huh? huh? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I get that. You know, and uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. It's really just like a sign of ignorance when you just like really don't care about another person's culture and language. You know what I mean? And like, really, it really sucks that um, it makes Spanish speaking people or bilingual people self conscious. Yeah. Because, like, shouldn't you shouldn't be. It's your language. It's your fucking, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I don't give a shit if people are speaking a different language than I am if I'm around them. I don't even give a shit if you're talking about me. Yeah, you I don't know? care. Yeah, whatever. I don't care if people are going to talk about me anyway. I don't give a shit. Yeah. It's popular over here. No, like, if you but make no, fun yeah, of me, if you I don't make care. fun of me, yeah, it's fine. Whatever. Yeah, exactly. I'm not a child. <laughs> you can take it. Yeah, I get yeah, you. I, I get give you. A shit. God. Oh. What a fucking asshole, man. Yeah. Fucking. I don't know, man. I hate this, like, weird fucking, like, I don't know, like the um. It's racist. It's just racist. Is, yeah. yeah, it's just fucking. I hate racism. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I know. Uh, what, Whoa. Controversial take. Woke. Yeah. Woke. Woke. W S T R. Yeah. I mean, yeah. This is me we're virtue not signaling, uh, guys. I think racism's bad. Oh, woke bullshit. No, and my mom used to do this a lot too. She used to like go and she. Oh yeah. God, just so many classic things where she would read like the sign at Chase and be like. Those aren't the same messages. They're saying more stuff in Spanish. I don't know what they're saying. They're saying gonna, the thing in English. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to complain to a manager. Dude, you live in fucking Florida, guys. Like, come was, on. Yeah, I think that was in Florida. Even, and who cares what's not in Florida? Like, okay, like literally anywhere. Because Spanish if, is the second most spoken language, yeah. I believe, in, in the United States. Straight up anywhere on the south. So it makes sense to put the two most common languages. Yeah. On the fucking, like, on the things, yeah. yeah. In fact, yeah, you could even go further. I know there's some places that do, like, three languages, you know, yeah. the top three languages that ha they happen to be. Yeah. Because, like, yeah. It's, and, you know, I've never, ever thought of it as an inconvenience. It's not. It's not. It's not even an inconvenience. It's just there. Here's how I see it, all right? Yeah. Okay, uh, ATM, Chase ATM. Got it. That's the first line. Second line. Don't understand that. I bet it says Chase ATM. ATM. Yeah. Third line. Don't know what that says. I bet it says Chase ATM like the other two do. Isn't it fucking funny though that people are walking around like it says Chase ATM and then they see something in a different language and they think it's like kill your parents. 
<laughs> those satanic Spanish speakers like, trying to what? <laughs> Why do you think that? How about you go learn the fucking language then if you're so goddamn worried? That's what I'm saying. I or don't know. Learn I, listen, guys, to, I'm a dumb American. I only know how to speak English. That being said, like... Learn how to identify a pattern. I can understand, yeah, I can, I can understand, oh, those words probably mean those words up there. Yeah. If I'm not five. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have language object permanence where I look away from chase atm and then i see something underneath them like that that has nothing to do with what's up there <laughs> there's no other words up there that shit what are they is trying to connected. communicate and you're gonna make a dumbass out of yourself sentence and three lines and two of them are in languages i don't speak you're gonna make a dumbass out of yourself walking up to a manager and just declare what that is that you're a fucking idiot Walking up to a, a manager or an <laughs> hr person and just declare that you're a racist idiot yeah so i don't know yeah Thank you for doing the hard work for us Thanks. Of, of calling you out as a racist. Well, solved it, dude. We fucking solved that shit. Solved racism. Fucking crazy. <laughs> Those two sentences are not related to that sentence up there. Fucking idiot. Fucking dumbass. Or All like right. people that go to like um uh Asian like nail salons and shit. Oh yeah. And they're speaking their language and then they're like, oh, I bet they're making fun of me. So what? Who cares? So what? Yes, They're touching probably. your feet. Yeah. Yeah, I would make fun of I'll you go too. Fuck yourself. Yeah. I'd be like, this white bitch's feet suck ass. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say that all day long. I don't, don't get paid for this shit. I'm gonna, yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? Who cares? God, I'm a service. Yeah. You might be surprised to hear this, everybody, but if you ever went to like a restaurant, they've made fun of you. You've made been fun made of fun of. You fun in of. The back yeah. Every single one. They, every single every one. Single every one. single one. Have and you, they said it in the language you speak, and you still didn't <laughs> fucking hear it. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? They don't even need to co they don't even need to go out of their way to learn a new language. You might have not even done anything wrong. They just might have thought you looked funny. Or they they fucking had a bad day and this they just fucking, hate everyone because yeah, their job sucks. Idiot ass. Out there with a green jacket. <laughs> And he wants beer cheese. This and motherfucker the ordered thing. a burger. What are you, 12? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> it's just oh, like. Yeah, and you wanted bacon on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, they wanted appy juice. <laughs> they said appy juice before I even got there. And then they said apple juice. It's like they knew that they were fucking children. <laughs> that's me. That's me. That's why. Everyone yeah. makes fun of you. Who cares? Yeah. Christ. It's not going to hurt you. It's fine. God. You care Grow so much, up. learn the fucking language, and yeah. then you'll learn that they don't fucking, they're not talking about you, you asshole. Just grow up. Uh, all right, I got Last one more one. story. All right, this is a quick one, but I want to see how long we can go with it. Mm -hmm. I think this is a fun, fun little experiment. So, okay. This final story of the night comes to us from Anonymous. Any pronouns? Oh, sweet. Am I the asshole? I don't know. Just wondering if I'm the asshole. Okay. Thoughts? Thank you for your time. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you are. So why did they write that in, Sarah? Why did they write that in? Why would they ever do that to us? <laughs> but did they explain? No, that's it. That's the end. What, why are you asking they, why? So why are they the asshole, though? You said they're the asshole. I don't have to explain. But they... They didn't explain either. But so, they... But, yeah. But what, what could they have done, though? That could have... Cause them to be the asshole. I don't have to. I don't. It's not my job <laughs> to percolate. You know what I mean? <laughs> they said, "Am I the asshole?" Yeah. That's it. I don't okay, have to right. explain it because you, you explain didn't it? explain it. Okay. Yeah. I'm giving you back your energy. Okay, that's fair then. Yeah, that's fair. All right. Damn. And that's our show, everybody. All right. See you. Oh wait. I'm sorry. I solved it. Oh yeah, I solved it. Uh, oh wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wow. Wow. I don't know. Oh yeah. Yeah. Solved it. There you go. Yeah. Nice. Did it. That's a TikTok. <laughs> that's very, yeah, that's very charismatic. Turn you know? that shit out. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Printing money. Printing money, yeah. The money factory. APWSTR. <laughs> <laughs> it is funny just to put the bare bones of like an Am I the Asshole post. It is pretty funny. It is. I, funny I respect joke. whoever sent that. Yeah, you're an asshole, but yeah. I think they uh, put, we put in our, our list, uh, like the little place to like put in the email. Yeah. And they just wrote, nah. Actually, someone did that like for real though. Like someone no, was like. many people do. Yeah. Like, many people just, are like, no, do I, not I'm contact not, me. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm, we're never not going to contact we you. We never do. In fact, I changed it to say, if you want this story deleted, 
put in your email so if you get if we yeah, get an email from sense. you yeah we can if you want to reference it, down, it we can find i've it. actually i think i deleted like one or two stories because they were like i don't care really yeah because they were also like stories i was like are you sure you want to put this out and then they had the balls to be like i don't care i don't care yeah. i don't know if you might have been like a reason why i got rid of one or two yeah if you talk smart with us we're gonna yeah i'm gonna be like pissed off yeah yeah if you <laughs> don't don't be all smart don't be fucking smart about that yeah. i guess yeah i guess maybe yeah that's like really don't don't step that's to the us. real reason why i won't do uh, <laughs> that's like the third on un- the, the the third real Unspoken reason realization a yeah, realization reason. of like Okay, if you're going to be a dick in the way you write a story. Ass. Yeah. I don't know, like still well, send us stories. Well, and also if you're like uh pronouns under pronouns, you'll be like I'm a girl. Yeah, then right. I'm a, I don't, I don't know. It. Like yeah, it's like I'm not going to read it at I, that uh, point. Why Which would is, I... thankfully no one really does that. I've seen uh, one time. One person's done it. Yeah, and I'm like that's not what we asked. We asked your pronouns. If we can't like Reference refer to you, you yeah. then I'm not gonna read it. I guess yeah, I, that's a little inside baseball for the end of the podcast, I guess. But like, <laughs> I don't know. It's interesting to me. I like I like that little last one. That's like a little in joke for me. That's you know, cute. yeah, like it's it. nice. But yeah, mm-hmm. that's our show. That's literally the last one. Nice. Yeah, solved it. Solved it. Yeah, that's our show. Sarah, what do you want to plug? Oh, you can follow me on Twitter. <laughs> you can follow me on Twitter with your happy juice. With my happy juice. At that so here in T H A T S O H E E R O N. Yeah, you do the also, baby voice when you're doing like the name of it. So yeah, people. Yeah, I get that's, it. That's so here in T H A T S O H E E R O N. But you can also find me on Instagram at that name, and then also YouTube, and then also TikTok. You're on YouTube? Oh wait, that's not my name on <laughs> YouTube. On all the you started, on, on you Tumblr. S- you a YouTube uh, channel without me? What the fuck? Well, I have a username. Everybody has uh, okay, a username yeah, that's true. on YouTube. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. I do need to change it because sometimes I'll comment and people don't know it's me. Oh, I feel you. Yeah. Yeah. So. You want people to know it's you. I get that. Yeah. Yeah. I feel that. So, damn, Josh, why are you being so mean? <laughs> I'm sorry. Shit. What the fuck? <laughs> Uh, but I'm Joshua Chinland on Twitter. I got Nick New JC on Twitch. I stream mm-hmm. on the days that we do not stream Stardew Valley. Mm hmm. Uh, TikTok, APWSTR, APWSTR on YouTube, APWSTR Productions on YouTube, a podcast to save this on Instagram and Facebook, mm-hmm. uh, podcast to save this relationship on all podcasting platforms, APWSTR on Patreon, buy me a coffee, or YouTube, you can become a channel member, like, comment, subscribe, hit the gosh darn bell. Thank you for enjoying this podcast and I hope you enjoy the show. Thanks very much. And we'll see you in the next podcast. See you, bitch. Bye. Bye. Uh, Alright, so we gotta do outro and intro. I've had a headache that whole time. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, it should be. You I'm did so it. sorry. Yeah, I purposely gave you a headache. Because I, I put so much stress on having to finish this podcast early mm. so we could go see the Goo Goo dolls. Well, it's not because I've ruined my eyesight by sitting at a computer and looking at text every day. <laughs> every day for the so past. So that now my glasses prescription is not exactly what it is. So now my eyes are struggling to see things with my glasses on. So now it gives me headaches just looking at shit with my glasses. And it feels better when I take my glasses off. But Mm. then I can't fucking see anything. No, it's Goo Goo Dolls. Yeah, it's Goo Goo Dolls. Yeah.